What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Ramble, aka the Hot Mess Express. Happy Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter. Well, <laughs> by the time you guys are watching this, it is a little bit late, and Jesus may or may not have risen. We and don't know. And taking you back to them pearly gates. Girl, take me back to them pearly gates. I want to see what's behind there. I want to yeah. know. I literally asked her right before filming this, like, what would you do if God literally just like appeared in the sky? Like, did you ever hear before, like, the sounds are supposed to, like, go off, like, Aww, like, whalers, you know? Have you ever heard that before? I, you what would know you do? that, well, you know I was raised in, like, an extremely, um, what's the proper Pentecostal. word? Pentecostal. Pentecostal, hardcore church. Like, yeah. you don't cut your hair, which, it has nothing to do with that, but, like, you have to wear dresses, women I always wonder why your bush paint, was so bushy, girl. <laughs> paint their nails, like, women didn't do that stuff. And, why would you do that? The church, I don't know, it was just the rules of the church. No, I mean, like, why would you be raising that? Your mom, my didn't... grandma. Well, your mom doesn't seem like she's that. Strict oh, no, person. my grandma did it. My grandma would take oh. us, yeah. And we would literally, we would go like three times a week. Is that like white people stuff? It was a lot of white folks. It's crazy because yeah. my, my dad is like white, but like, we were raised fully well, Catholic. I, went I mean, to my grandma comes from a, a background of addiction, so once she kicked the drugs oh. and alcohol, she had to be addicted to something, exactly. so it was church. Yes. And so, don't get me wrong. Like, we liked it. We used, I love my grandma, rest in peace. Like, we would have a ball. Yeah. But she kicked, she would then do drugs, and she kicked alcohol. Then she kicked, she would, whatever. So, she became addicted because she had an addictive personality. Of course. To church. So, that's why we would be so hardcore into the church. Well, also, it's their thing to recruit. I don't know if I ever told you, but when I went to my cousin's funeral, yeah. they go in there and recruit. Uh, yeah, because they do this thing when you go to church. I'm not church shaming. I've uh, I've been in periods of my life where I would literally go to church as an adult by myself. You know, when I'm having struggles, I would go to church. And it would church literally... Church doesn't make... cure chlamydia, so no. why would you do that? <laughs> it would make <laughs> me feel better, but church is definitely... Um, a lot about recruiting, and I get it. God says to spread Which the word. Which scares me. But it just seems so like what's the word? Like scripted. Yeah. I don't know. That... Anyways, <laughs> dude, okay. I was like, okay, I'm wow, like... <laughs> okay, not us starting this off on a depressing ass I'm note like... just because we have Easter decorations. <laughs> I'm like, girl, and I do have to say this too, though. There, there are people out there who have an addictive personality, but as you know, or if you didn't know, Nana, you know, I love you. My nana was addicted to meth for 13 years. And yeah. instead of her being addicted to church, she just got addicted to alcohol and weed. So there's other addictions you can choose. 100%. Yeah. And there's better ones that you there's can choose, like alcohol and, and weed. Yeah. No, 100%. <laughs> yeah, my grandma had us. Like, I, rem I remember there's a there's a, a dress shop on Bix in Bixby Knowles. And they would have like the and every Easter my grandma would take us and we would have them puffy ass dresses. Oh. My grandma would do us like every holiday she would have us like dressed to the T. She oh. would do our hair like yeah, we loved it. I was eating that shit up as a kid. I didn't know. Wow. She wasn't do she wasn't doing nothing wrong. She thought in her mind it was right. You know. You know what's so funny though, and like to put you and all your sisters on blast yeah. is the fact that you guys were raised that way, and you guys are literally the wildest people that I know. So this is proves my point, and my brother <laughs> says this too because my brother does go to GCU, which you don't have to be religious to go to GCU, but yeah. it is a religious school, yeah. right? So he always says that people who are the most religious are the most wild, and Dead I was ass? like, Dude. who do you think is the wildest? Put us in order, top three. Out of the three of you? Mm -hmm. It's hard because I would have said once upon a time Genevieve, but now I say you because she's calmed down big time because she got married and she don't leave the house. So I'm like, so now I would say you mm -hmm. and then Valerie and then Genevieve, honestly. You're fake. What do you mean I'm fake? Because it's just a time frame, but not just a general, Whoa. just a blanket like over the oh, years. Oh, so all over together. the years? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, then Genevieve would be number one. <laughs> Over the years, but I said now, I literally even said, because mm. I'm like, obviously everyone changes. Mm -hmm. But if I were to go into my mind of memories, honestly, it would go Genevieve, you, then Valerie. Yeah, Genevieve, Genevieve, Genevieve. <laughs> I have my most wildest <laughs> memories with Genevieve. Dude, like crazy, mm. crazy shit. That, mm, girl. <laughs> girl. Anyways, oh my God, we're getting off way off over here on a tangent. I do yeah. want to start this off by letting you guys know that I did listen to the Beyonce album. Because we were filming this on the day that Beyonce came out with her new country album. And go ahead and call me a hater. It's fine. The only song, and y'all know we love Post Malone. But I'm going to go and say, I'm going to speak for myself. 
I don't like the Post Malone song. The only song that I love, and I really do love the song on it. I think it's so cute. I got goosebumps from it. I think it's so cute. <laughs> is the song with Miley Cyrus. I think it's so cute. I really do like it. But other than that, no. And everyone's eating it up online. Except Are they? I did see a viral tweet of uh, somebody had said, is Twitter a safe space? Question mark, question mark. And then they had quote tweeted the album and said, Renaissance is better than the country album. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I, I don't, you know, I mean, kudos to her, honestly, for, I, look, I feel like people can branch out into different things. Cool. That's great. But like, it's not, it's not good. How do you have 28 songs and not one of them? Are there's, over? or 27 songs. Sorry. 27, 27. Sorry. There's that many songs there's on 20, this album. There's 27. But if you, if you guys have listened to the album, there is a good, I want to say six songs that are literally like one minute dead ass like the ones with like willie nelson which by the way somebody had said that like willie nelson i, I don't know shit about country music i like country music obviously as Love you know it. well yeah. i say that but then I like, i'm fake like, mainstream. i know i, like, like, I was like wait i'm fake yeah. i'm fake i'm, I'm li- not like we're not deep yeah i like morgan wallen i like uh chris stapleton we like luke i like one of luke combs songs luke combs. The, like have you luke. heard of the rest of luke combs songs though I have like five that I'm down really, yeah, but I had to shuffle through because he does real country. No, I don't like. I'm sorry, I don't. Be, um, beer never broke my heart. Long neck, ice cold beer. Never. Oh, I, I was like, I know he ain't singing about a long neck. He can't no, find his fucking neck. No, long neck beer never oh, broke okay. my heart, like, and wow. I was like, period. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not into. Yeah, it's a good song. I like the more. Well, I do like Laney Wilson though, and that's you country do like, as fuck. You do like watermelon. I got a heart like, like, a, heart, like a, a trick. trick. Yeah, I, like that's that fucking country. That is. But um, what was I saying? What was I even? Our saying? banger and our karaoke song one day is uh Kid Rock picture. Yeah, picture. Yeah, with Cheryl Crow. I put your that's all, can i just tell a little brief story sorry we're really good on attention here but i just thought it was so fucking ironic is because like it's so crazy i've known her for so many years but we barely had been close over the past like two and a half years right well i went to canada with my ex and it was so crazy that i had my little i call it a slow playlist and picture was on there with cheryl crow and kid rock right and my ex was like i like this song I swear to God on my little brother, this was the most bizarre thing. We're in Toronto, Canada. We call an Uber to go to a Charlie XCX concert, okay? We get into a Tesla, and I do have video of this shit, too. We lost our fucking minds. We get into the car. This guy says, do you guys want to do carpool karaoke? We're like, fuck yeah, let's do it. He selects a song, and it is picture uh picture by kid rock and cheryl crow and i look at my phone and i say is my phone connected to your bitch he's like bitch? he's like no he's like and it starts playing all the lyrics and everything on the big like dude teslas are like so yeah, f- yeah, I, yeah. I will never remember we were in the car the other day we were in the uber and i was like did that ipad come with the car <laughs> Dude, well that's a story for another day bitch because you were you were fucking on one girl but i thought it was so ironic that i'm like this song is a good 20 something years old literally and he barely had heard it for the first time and then we get into the car and then it's on i didn't tell you about my thing with picture no Maybe when i was on the phone with my other friend i was singing it and he was like i fucking love it i like how I you say like, my other friend my yeah because i have two friends <laughs> And I was my one it. and only other friend. And like, and we're on the phone, and he was like, "I love that song." And I was like, "Bitch, I love the song, whatever." Bitch, I pull up to my hood. I live in a hood. Oh, you did tell me. You predominantly did tell me. Yeah. Mexican, like a hood hood. If they're bumping music, it's always that mariachi shit. Yeah. Like I live in a in the hood. And my fucking neighbor, as I got home and got out of my car, was playing picture. Your car? Loud as fuck. Oh my god. Isn't that crazy? That is actually really crazy. And I was like. Well, because I know where you live, so I'm like, yeah. yeah. I was, mean, like, maybe and I had just got Nandez out of the car something. talking about it. And yeah. I, what did you say? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah. I live in the hood, hood. Oh, I'm sorry, though, but okay, we're going to get off. Whoa, we're starting this one off on a fucking yeah, doozy. Are. Kid Rock can, I'm going to be honest with you, can literally suck the dingleberries out of my ass. Hey, Honestly, I'm sorry. He's on the newest episode of Theo Vaughn. I haven't watched it. He is the fakest piece of shit that I have ever seen when the whole trans thing had but happened like, and the fact that he shot up with an AK-47 on the Bud Light and then two weeks later he's drinking you, a tall can. Girl, you got longer hair than any trans I've met. Right? What are you doing? <laughs> yes, I'm like, uh, I don't like when people are that extra. Like, yeah, uh, like, sir, you're not famous anymore. Just You know what? That. I feel like he probably did that because he likes to get pegged. 
Like, that's just my conspiracy. I think that he likes to get pegged. Or maybe he was in a situation, this is all allegedly. <laughs> we, where alleged. He, like, he got down and dirty with a bitch and was all about her, and then he found out she was trans, so now he has, like, a... Maybe. Like, something out for him. Yeah, I don't know, because I was like, why are you doing all that? And then you're literally going to be drinking a tall can of Bud Light. And the concert that he was at, I know, damn, gonna well, they served something other than Bud Light. Maybe it was the only choice of beer, but he could have got a mixed maybe drink. Little, yeah. Or he could have got a shot. He could have got so something else. you know, else. we will be drinking Bud Light at Shane Gillis. Cause I, he's a spawn. He's a. I like Bud Light. No, I know you do, ma'am. They never sponsored me, but they did DM me. He's a rep for Bud Light now. You know that's all I. That was my first. Y'all can go back on my. That was my first YouTube video ever doing a Bud Light makeup inspired tutorial. My. Well, was it all blue? Dude, it, yeah, I literally I did blue eyeshadow with little that's dots silver. and shit on it. Yep, and silver. Yep. Really? It, it was the. It's the most. I. It's still up on my channel, and it's the most fucking cringy thing. I won't look back at it. Oh, I'm going to go watch it. I literally have told myself, I'm like, I'm going to do a reaction video of like reacting to my very first YouTube video. But <laughs> it's so cringy because I just felt so uncomfortable sitting in front of a fucking camera and like talking. And it was like, what year was it? I want to say maybe like 2006 or 2016. Sorry. 2016, 2015. Yeah. Dude, it was like, <laughs> I know. It's so awkward. I won't. And Roman, I was like, Roman, because Roman would always hype me up to do you. He's like, you need to do YouTube. You need to do YouTube. So oh, one day, yeah, I know. Literally, he's the one that got me into a dead ass because he kept hyping me up. And I literally had him sit behind the camera. And I was just like, oh my God, this is so weird. It took us like four hours to film, literally. Because I was just like, I don't like this. It's so weird. And then I stepped I'm out of it. I'm literally going to go watch that. Yeah, it's <laughs> cringy. Anyways, whoa. Questions. We're off we on start a... with that. Yes. Okay. We have been saying for the longest time that we are going to do a Q&A episode. We really want to do a Q&A episode. So please drop your questions down below. And I do want to let you guys know that we are open books. Like, literally ask whatever you want to ask. And we are going to answer it. Because we want to do a full Q&A episode so we can get, like down deep and dirty and just you know open up because that's what a podcast is for also follow us on tiktok <laughs> mm -hmm. we started doing tiktoks and if you guys did not see our last week's episode we are going to be doing exclusive stuff on tiktok and we're gonna go to vegas soon i'm just gonna throw it out there that <laughs> we're probably gonna get wild on tiktok so maybe sure you know you guys go follow us on oh there oh my god i can't wait oh my god it finally burped oh, i told her right before filming this like y'all i sat there for a minute and i was like I feel a burp inside of me, and it wasn't coming out, and it just came out. There you go. I burped like a little petite woman. I didn't even hear it. I know. It's like a little queep, like, <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> we're going to start this off as usual with our yucks and our yums. So I like how I say start this off, and I feel like we've been talking for 20 minutes. I was like, I'm pretty sure we've been talking for 40 minutes. Dude, okay, so go ahead and start off with your yuck or your yum. I don't remember what mine are as usual. Okay, I don't know my yuck yet. Let's do my yum. You don't know your yuck yet? Mm -mm. I can name a yuck for you already. But never go, go ahead and start with your Okay, yum. my yum is that I... Mm, yeah, it's a yum. I... <laughs> Damn, girl. Can't I know. I'm going to be... This is my first time ever. I'm going to be a bridesmaid's in one of my friend's weddings. She's been my friend since I was probably 18, I think. She's getting married. It's in Utah. And I've officially booked my flight. Oh! <gasps> Good for bought you. My gown. I don't know if it's gonna fit me, so I bought it already, so I have time to. Yeah. And I bought my heels that she she sent me everything that we're supposed to buy, and I did all of it. And this is my bridesmaid's cup. How cute! And I'm going to Utah. Wait, which is... Loki. I only saw it from this size, and I was like, "Why does your cup have a genital wart?" I no, literally it's was... a pearl. It was like a whole thing, and I oh. fucked fuck it all up. But oh. it says bridesmaids on the side. Dude. This is her handwriting. That's my friend's business. She uses an iPad, does her handwriting, and makes stencils. And she, you know, she, yeah, she's, she's I don't very want to fancy. put her on blast. I don't, I'm going to ask her if it's okay to put yeah. her on blast. So I was like, I don't know. But <laughs> oh, we put her on blast. She we'll has put her a, name a, down below. a business where she, and she makes wooden like signs. Like signs and she things. She makes ornaments. She makes everything with all her handwriting. But anyways, but I'm going to be a bridesmaid. Yeah. And I'm going to go alone. So that's a lot for me because I have to fly alone. And then hey, I'm you're going to love be, it though. I'm going to be in a mansion. The Airbnb they got is a literal mansion and I'm going to be by myself. And I know some of the girls, but it's not like You're not I have close. a homegirl. And my homegirls are getting married, so she's not available to be yeah. my homegirl. But we were recently talking about putting ourselves into uncomfortable situations. It's how you grow, and you're going to be put I'm into gonna be something there new. with all the girls and just hanging out. Dude, you're going to have fun. I am. You're going to have fun. And on top of that, too, you're going to meet some new friends because maybe there's going to be someone like you, too, who's like, oh, fuck, I'm here alone, too. So, bam. Low-key, I was like, should I fuck somebody? <laughs> 
Okay. I'm going to have my own room. Harry, I'm talking about making a girlfriend. Did she? Oh, I was. And just... her thing is, should I fuck someone? I was just saying, I'm going to have my own room, bitch. <laughs> she sent me a video in my room, and I was like. She's going to be on Pure. She's going to hit up Mr. Oh Sniffer. My... <laughs> no, I think there'll be a lot of nice men there. I'm sure. Dude, I like, because in my head, what I was thinking about is the most uncomfortable situation that I was put into when Mac flew me out to Vegas and I had to share a room with another guy. Yes, the was guys were, but yeah. Oh. Well, bitch, if you're working for Mac and you're straight, something's wrong with you. Hey, I'm not assuming shit nowadays. I mean, there was a straight guy or two straight guys, but they work for stock. They weren't oh, okay, artists. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And girl, I went out there by myself. I didn't know one single person that I was going with. And I was like, well, I can't pass this up, girl. They were sending me out there for seven days, all yeah. expenses paid. And then they gave us $150 budget per day. <gasps> yep. Of I food been, and stuff. I would have gone. Well, well, I went and I ended up having the time of my life, bro. Did you? Yeah, because I was like, I was just partying and drinking with everybody. I didn't mean everybody. to be on hinge. I just mean like if the opportunity comes, should I? <laughs> well, yeah, that was very, we were talking about friends, though. And then you're just like, should I, I meant- fuck someone? I was like, <laughs> okay, you're going to have another lesbian experience. No, a guy. Well. Wow. Well, it's going to be the weekend. It's going to be the weekend. I'm not going to be lesbian in front of them people, though. Oh, because it's like Utah. They're like Mormon, Utah. They're like. Very, they're very like, um, prim and proper. This is the only friend that is the polar opposite of me. And me and her are very good friends. But she's very different than Sometimes I. opposite is tracked. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's why I'm trying to find me a skinny person. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like how I have to go into my. Like, that was my yum though. I'm I'm just excited. I Cause you got t- everything. And I bought my tickets. Hold today. on, kudos to you, bitch. Pat on the back. This bitch had told me because she was like over here shitting bricks about booking her flight that she was like, I need your help, and I didn't know that you booked it. That was new news today. To I me. did it. Good for you. I even got my carry on add ons and everything, and I had the lowest price. I searched the web and everything. Good else. for you. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. My- got my dress and my shoes. We're ready. What? My bitch, I just looked at my list of things of what we're going to talk about today, and my yum is fucking tragic. Do you know what I put down as my yum? What? Is that I had Popeyes this week. Oh. That's my yum, though. I wanted to try the shrimp. Okay, I'm sorry, whatever, Mm -hmm. fucking shoot me that that's my yum of the week, and I'm still thinking about it. Because my friend came over, which, by the way, my friend literally never comes over to my house. She never Mm -hmm. comes kicks it with me, but she's very busy, right? She came over and we were supposed to work out and (laughs) yeah, we really were. And then next thing you know, I was like, hey girl, do you want a vodka soda? It was Sunday. It was Sunday. It was Sunday. Like, come on. I'm sorry, but why does sun and fun rhyme? Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, it's Sunday. Like you're bringing the sun into my day. Literally. So I was like, do you want a vodka soda? And then she was like, yeah, bitch, I'm down. And then, you know, we ended up um, having a vodka soda and then whatever. One thing led to the next. And I was like, oh, my God, I got an email from Popeye's saying that <laughs> <laughs> I literally did my best email ever that they have the shrimp tackle box for five ninety nine. And I was like, oh, my God, let's go. Oh, but you have to download the app. So I had to download the app. I got the app right. And then while I was on the app, I was like, they have the strawberry biscuits. Still. Oh, those are. Dude, the strawberry biscuit, to my knowledge, came out like over a year ago. I thought it was a limited thing. I didn't know it was permanent, right? So I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. And I've been doing really good on my diet, by the way. Like super good. But I was like, Lent is going to be over soon. They only carry the shrimp taco box during Lent, so I have to get it, right? Today's the last day? Lent's not over yet. What is it? Actually, end? actually, I love how I know it ends on April 7th, though. Lent, Lent ends on Easter. Oh, but, okay. but I'm saying the shrimp taco box, I thought. Was only till then, but mm-hmm. then I got another email that let me know April 7th's the last day. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I will be going back before, but anyways. Yeah, I mean, I want some. Girl, so my whole thing is I love Black and Ranch from there, and mm-hmm. bitch, I literally even dipped my biscuit in the Black and Ranch. Your strawberry biscuit? I No, no. Oh, you had regular ones uh, as well. In the shrimp tackle box, it comes with fries, it comes with shrimp, and it comes with a biscuit, a regular biscuit. so good. Girl, okay, let me know. Oh, I hate that I'm, like, thinking about it. I'm like, my nipples are getting hard. So... <laughs> So anyways, since they had the shrimp biscuit on there, and by the way, it's in the shape of a heart, which I thought was really fucking cute. Yeah. It was in the shape of a heart. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. So I was like, I have to get it. And my homegirl was like, oh my God, that sounds so good. Whatever. We end up going there. We placed the mobile order because the shrimp taco box was only for mobile order. We pull up and the guy's like, um, unfortunately, and I was like, 
every single fucking time. I don't want to hear yep, it. Yep, yep, Don't want to hear it. Yep, I was already triggered because I was like, you don't understand. My mouth was watering from this. Yeah. My nipples yeah. were leaking. Chewbacca Ranch. Like, <laughs> yeah. gr- no, they charge for they charge for condiments at Popeyes. Twenty five cents each, girl, and it's the same size as a regular ranch cup. You don't cup get from- a free one with your meal. You do. You get one. One. Oh, I'd still buy an extra one, though. Ma'am, I bought two extra ones. Girl, girl, I need it for my fries. I need it for my shrimp. And I need it for my biscuit. No, my I, regular biscuit. Honestly, yeah, I know. Girl. So, anyways, he finishes with his, unfortunately, he's like, um, we don't have any strawberry biscuits ready. So, I was like, oh, okay. We'll wait. Yeah, I was like, how long would it be? He says 10 minutes. I was like, oh, okay, no problem. I'll be girl, right out front. <laughs> girl, he brings it out. Not only does he put Is extra. He hot? No. Okay. I mean, I'd fuck him for Black and Ranch. <laughs> I mean, if there's food, in, food involved, I mean, oh, come on, I'm gonna do what I gotta yeah, do. I've fucked people for nothing. Okay? Yeah, true, 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 true. Well, I would do it for food or sauce, whatever. <gasps> mm. Condiment sauce. <laughs> Not Package. that type of sauce. Package. Package. Sauce. Yes, 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 yes. So, anyways, he brings out our bags. Fuck he has this. Black and Ranch. <laughs> It's packaged, bitch. He brings his shit out, or brings our shit out um, from the back, right? And then uh, he puts an extra biscuit in there. He puts all the sauce in there. So, yeah, the strawberry biscuits. They're good. I've had those. Honestly, when they're hot. She told me before that she has not I've had. I've never had Popeyes. She's never had Popeyes, I've but she's had, had a strawberry chicken. biscuit. They, well, because at work, all they do is fucking get food delivered to the office. and like. Why a- would they only have... Strawberry our biscuits. Deadass, our boss ordered a bag of strawberry biscuits for all the girls to try. Because it was probably limited. It, yes, it yeah. was like but last year. And, oh my the God. The strawberry biscuits. If you guys have not tried the strawberry biscuits from Popeye's, it's they life-changing. Were, I'm not it's a sweet tooth, really. It's oh. because the biscuit is still salty, but then it, it has, has strawberry inside, and, like, and then it's drizzled with icing. It's good. Honestly, I was Woo! like... Yeah, I can. I can vape it. My mouth's watering. Right, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you. Even Rosa, my friend that I was with, she's like, she's not really a big sweets person, and she was like, that shit's amazing. And she was like, I'm only gonna have half. I'm only gonna have half. She ate the whole thing. No, she had half only because I said, bitch, you said that I can have the other half. And I hear I am being a good friend, and I'm taking. Oh, huh, you're all no, 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 like, no. Yep, no, 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 girl. Mm, that's anyways. Good. That's my yum of the week. That's good. That's good. I, I have it. no regrets either, girl. I got to No regrets. Uh, girl, I'm going back before the 7th. I am. Oh, no. I want to have the shrimp box. The shrimp that. tackle box specifically. Okay, in case you guys didn't know. So, Popeye's regularly carries the shrimp. <laughs> popcorn shrimp. Okay? Not me, no. I'm a brand ambassador, bitch. <laughs> I literally was like, why aren't we sponsored by... <laughs> Imagine Popeye's comments on this video. They're like, we don't work with faggots. <laughs> Literally, so they normally carry popcorn shrimp, which is tiny little baby shrimp, right? The shrimp tackle box is butterfly shrimp, so they're big. Oh. And you get eight of them in fries and a biscuit for five ninety nine. Wait, if you have the app, if you have the app. Regular, if you go through there, it's like eight ninety nine. So I was like, mm. I will save three dollars and get the app. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I'm that sounds. So I cool. know, but we're not gonna talk about it anymore. We have ha- oh, we have happy dads inside our cut, by the way, y'all. Happy dads. The ones that we talked about a couple weeks Ice ago tea. that they all taste the same. So. Yeah, we're drinking happy ass today. So, what's your yuck of the week? Hmm. My yuck of the week. I'm like, I just been having a phenomenal week. Can I do two yums? Jeez. Yeah, screw it. It's you know. Well, my yuck. I my baby's sick right now. That's oh, yeah. My You're son's sick literally. Right that's a yuck. Yeah, he just wasn't feeling too hot. He had like an earache, and my son never gets sick, so he's just not feeling too hot. So that sucks. Other than that, he's chilling. He's fine. That's a bad yuck, girl. Yeah, because it's like, uh, it's like I'd rather be sick than him, cause he, but he never gets sick. So. But the way I view it though is like when kids get sick, it's kind of like it's building their immune system. So. Oh, I'm I'm a firm believer in building this fool's immune system. Don't ever say that in front of Mr. Fauci. I will tell you that, he'll make you get a vaccine. Nah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. Allegedly. Mm, I got it. Oh. Um, my yuck is, um, I like how I put doing my taxes and I still haven't done, done my you taxes. You haven't done them? I haven't done them. I avoid that shit. It's it's very difficult, girl. Like, being on YouTube and shit and having yeah. to do it. It's like, ugh, girl. Oh, girl, I did them shit the first week I got my W-2. Yeah, because it's easy, girl, because all you do is input, input your shit. Yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. dude, when you have a 1099, you have to do everything manually or go to someone. And I don't got the budget. They do charge you to go to someone. And they charge you more. They char- Yeah, they charge me, too. Even though my shit's easy. Oh, you could do your shit easy on TurboTax. I do it on H&R Block. This video is sponsored by <laughs> 
talking about. Yeah, it. no. But yeah, you but it ain't like it used to be the good old days. I used to get money back as a head of household and a, and a single parent. Now I don't. I have a dependent now. My like, dude, I'm I like, was out there hitting up Diddy to find a kid to claim. Man. Oh, was that too soon? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, taxes ain't what it used to be. Yeah. I'm like, I see you, Samuel, Uncle Samuel, taking all this money every week. Every Friday you come around. I saw this TikTok the other day, and this got me fucking triggered. Man. Is that I forget which Dakota it was, South or North, can't remember, that there is no income tax and there is no state tax. And by mind you, I've been to both Dakotas, I just don't remember. So I'm like, um, why? And then the the tiktok continued on is it is really a fucking scam that they're out here taking money from us and when I, when I was with my ex he was mind blown by this he's like what they have to ma'am i've literally said this my whole life before you even see your check they're taking money they out took of it. money out that yes. bitch and I'm not like... just a five dollars they take a substantial amount of yeah, the check. like a lot. And then hold on, recently the uh, lottery went to like a billion dollars, and somebody did a TikTok. If you won one billion dollars, you would only get like four hundred and twenty-three million. I'm not complaining about that. Oh, I'm not complaining. But the gosh. fact that you're not even getting, why don't you get the bigger half? Why don't you get the bigger half? If you won a billion, there is like five hundred and seventy-nine million missing. Why wouldn't you get that that half then? Dude, my mom actually did like the I don't know what I don't know what steps she's actually took to figure this information out. She figured out how much social security she would get if if it came to it, mm -hmm. and she was all livid. She was like, "I've been my whole life working since I was sixteen. Yeah, they take it out, and I would I think honestly, Dennis, I think her total was less than twelve hundred dollars a month." Yeah. See, that's what, what the fuck would you do with $1,200 a month in California? Buy a tackle box from Popeyes? Just oh, one. You're right. Just one. I didn't think of that. Just one. Dude, I'm like, you can't even pay rent. <laughs> yep. I know. I'm telling you, America, and this is why I always tell you, because she's, you know, look, obviously I'm not moving countries. I love America. I do. But whenever you sit there and say America's the best country, I'm like, no, it's not. It's not. Like, we're out here being scammed. I, I, I mean, think... And there's nothing you can do about it. Well, we can all, as a group, all 385 million of us in this country can get out there and, you know, revolt. You know, is that the word? Revolt? Rebel? Rebel? Rebel. I think it's revolt, too. You could say either. Whatever, right? Just want to go kill them all? Well, I didn't say all that, Carl. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Joe Byron, we're not Joe coming Byron. for you. Oh, he's hey. asleep right now eating oh, mint and chip ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I hate that man. Sorry. watching Nick at night. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they put a compilation together of him sniffing all the children's hair, and I'm like, how are all the liberals okay with this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe he's just trying to find a new shampoo. Yeah, the, the kids one that's shaping a frog, you know? Like, we, no tears. <laughs> L'Oreal. He's like, no fears, no tears. No fear. <laughs> okay, moving on, y'all. You're a transphobe, you fucking transphobe. Why are you calling me a transphobe? What I'm the a liberal. fuck? liberal. <laughs> oh. Well, fucking clearly wearing purple ears. Oh, by the way, we have Easter identify decorations. as a bunny. <laughs> a funny bunny. <laughs> you identify as a bunny because you fuck a lot. That's why. <laughs> Yo, I like how we still haven't got into our would you rather. Okay, can I tell you guys something? <laughs> We're on for the long haul. Dude, I've been starving myself today, and I had one drink before this, and I wish you guys could see inside this cup right now. I'm like, why am I buzzed? Are Le you? Yes, I literally am, but I think it's because I'm not really starving myself. I'm just, I haven't eaten all day. Did I say I'm starving myself? I don't fucking know what I said. Anyways, our would you rathers. What was, was your yuck? I already went over my taxes. Oh, okay. And I, because I, originally when I wrote it down, I was supposed to already do them, but I haven't done them. But that's still my yuck. I don't want to fucking do taxes. Like, what the fuck do I have to pay for? Okay, let's go. I like my would you rathers this week. You literally were struggling. So. I was struggling, but I, I finished. Man, okay. I always finish the assignment. You don't always finish, girl. Man. That's not what you said about your ex. No, Sorry. finish the assignment. I don't mean during that. Okay. Would you rather? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm, Let me I'm, get a shirt that says, are you ready? Dude, you literally, you didn't ask me if I'm ready this time. That's weird. For my yucks and yums? Yeah. Mm. You just said, would you rather? And they said, are you ready? Okay, are you ready? Yes. Would you rather lose, I want you to think about it, dun, dun, lose dun, your ability dun. to read or lose your ability to speak? Never had an ability to read, so. <laughs> Damn, that's no texting. That's not being on the internet. That's they got not... voice messages, bitch. No. Yeah, but you can't read. Oh, you'd have to voice message all your friends. 
Yeah, but Siri can read it for you if you go onto the internet and you, like, mm. click on it. You can literally have it read for you. But what if you're, like, out reading a menu? Like... How the fuck did Stephen Hawking get to Epstein's Island, bitch? Boy, being like, do, 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 do. He can't you know? read? He, he can't speak. He can't do anything, girl. I'm so... sure he can read. He, I don't know. Is he dead? I don't know, girl. I did ask. All I know is he was, like, listed on the damn Jeffrey Epstein list. And I was like, um. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, we're not trying to get sued. (laughs) Well, girl, let them sue what they're going to get fucking $2 (laughs) decorations out of us. Like. So you said you'd rather lose the ability to read. 100% than speak. Yeah, at least you can be like, what does that say? (laughs) Yeah, I'll have you read everything. Like, girl. (laughs) They got like, picture. Bitch, I don't know, menu. girl. When I, I pull, don't know. When I pulled to the drive thru they got a picture menu, so I don't. Play with the Google Translate like we're doing in Japan. Yeah, read it out loud, and it reads it too. So oh. that's why I'm like, girl, no, uh, uh-uh, that's no. What? That's a no brainer. If I'm being honest, I got one for you, girl. On this fine Easter Sunday, mm. it's not Sunday. Would you rather do anal every time you have sex or a threesome every time you have sex? <laughs> Oh, my God. Dead ass. I swear to God. I swear to God. This is the worst one you've ever asked me of all the all of them ever. Okay. Because ain't no way I'm doing a threesome. And ain't no way I'm doing anal. <laughs> so which one will it be? It's not only. It's just you have to do it when you're doing sex. Anal. It's only anal, bitch, was the question. Every time you have sex, it's only anal or a threesome. That's it. And on top of that, too, girl, you're trying to get a yeast infection. You're trying to get some E. coli inside your coochie, like, girl. No, I'll just fucking until I'm done and then be like, okay, real quick. Use some get dial. The an- dial. Get the anal out of the way. Go, go, go. <laughs> nope. Uh-uh. So it's either in the back door or not at all. Or, well, not or, or not at all. It's either the back door only. Or two guys hitting it. So you got one, you got one at least, you know, in your mouth or in your hand. Two guys? Whatever your threesome is, girl. Mm. Whatever your threesome is. Every time. I didn't think of that. What did you think a threesome is? Why would you think it's only two girls? Oh, so you're coming out as bisexual. (gasps) This video is not entitled Jelly Comes Out as Bisexual. I never had a threesome. I would. Me neither. Me neither. I I I wouldn't want to. Well, answer the fucking question. Dude, you're the queen of it. I love how when she answers the questions, she, she this bitch, I'll be editing the video. I'm like, bitch, answer the fucking question. God damn. You act That's like this shit's wrong. really happening. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that way. <laughs> I think just ain't. Oh, my God. Just ain't all really? I would choose a threesome. Bitch. <laughs> I'm know. a gay man. I do just ain't all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just like, just eat me out and finger me. Oh, that's the, yeah. I don't want to have a threesome every time I have sex. Oh, okay. All right, move on to the next. Oh, that was horrible. This don't bitch ever is, do that again. This bitch is literally acting as if this is fucking life or death over here. Okay. Would you rather, and mine are all fucking lighthearted. Hold on, listen to the next one. It's Easter, girl. I was trying Would to Would you holy. rather be full? <laughs> this is so stupid. I feel like dumbass now. <laughs> the, the Easter ears didn't do it for you, bitch? No, I feel cute. <laughs> Would you rather be forced to dance to any music you hear or sing loudly to any music you hear? Dance. Dance. 100%. Yeah. Yes. I hate being loud. I know I'm loud on the internet, but in oh, ask so you'd her. Oh, dancing? Yeah. Whatever. Like if we're on the subway in Japan and something comes on, I'd rather dance than fucking. Inigaragashikara. <laughs> like, girl, like I'm not going to fucking yell. Yes, loud. I'm not. Like okay. that's what you're there for. Bitch, <laughs> bitch I talk loud as fuck. <laughs> Well, if you talk loud, one would assume that you would fucking yeah. sing loud, right? Yeah. Okay, my sh- oh, I, I another stupid one, huh? I love no. This was actually really stupid, but I had to incorporate a little bit of Easter because I knew it was our little big ass <laughs> Easter episode. Would you rather work as the Easter Bunny in the mall, taking pics with all them badass kids for the rest of your life, or work McDonald's drive through for the rest of your life? But I would only work in April. <laughs> yeah i do that whenever the easter bunny comes around girl. i do that because i've worked in the service industry for many years and i'm done with people i'll be the easter bunny mm. yeah swear to god right, don't forget for the rest of your life i'd be all poor because i don't only work in april i know you you barely brought or that march so whenever I, easter i didn't think about i think they do it for like a month i would say at least um a month and a half yeah I'm, i've worked in the food industry for far too many years i'm done okay 
Come on, Easter Bunny. And look, you got the ears. I didn't even know you had those fucking ears, and here you are. Okay. Would you re- This only applies to you. Not like. Why did you? Why the fuck did you say me and then sniff, bitch? You just implied that I did coke. No, you. This were... bitch literally said this only applies to you. No, like, you, you missed your hard sniffers as fuck. last night. Dude, I caught you. <laughs> no, bitch. They're gonna. They're gonna see that you literally said this only applies to you and sniff. I'm no. like, bitch. I just... My allergies are coming back. <laughs> never. This is only you. Not like you. You know. Okay. Okay. Would you rather never have to <clears throat> wait in line again? Okay. Or never have to be in traffic again. Only you. So it's like not you and your people. Oh, so when I'm alone? Yeah. Bitch, I'm never alone. So, like, what the fuck benefit okay, would fine. that do in, for me? Well, you have to be the driver. But never wait in line again? Think of any line. Restroom, restaurant, fucking whatever the traffic. fuck. Traffic. I feel like I'm in traffic more than lines. You think so? That's why what you about, sniffed after that. What about, um, what do you call it? Um. Yeah. Amusement parks. <laughs> Remember the line struggle we were on in Japan? Yeah, but then also I think about, like, over here and, like, to go to, like, Six Flags, Magic Mountain. Like, girl, the traffic getting up there? Goddamn. Or Universal. I hate traffic more than anything in in life. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. And on top of that, too, I could just choose not to go. I have to drive everywhere, so. Yeah. Why am I so burpy today? The fuck? I'm going to turn into her with Well. Oh, because I have the salsa. Oh. My last one, dun dun dun. Oh my god, not my last one having speak in it after you said speak. Wow, and that was, ma'am, this was written since three days ago. Would you rather lose a strand of hair every time you talk or never speak again? Hey, I did good this week. <laughs> lose a strand of hair. So you're gonna end up bald. Man, I'd be bald next week. Like, be fucking, <laughs> and you know I got hair. Okay. She's like, okay, guys, but I'm quitting the podcast. The I'm quitting the podcast. Yeah, I just come on here, yeah, like fucking. Imagine us having a podcast, and I'm just sitting over here talking, and she's just there. And I'm just like, like that guy. Who? If you were born deaf, what language do you think in? Oh, I sing. And then the t- guy. Literally, I sent you that TikTok, <laughs> and I may, I don't remember, but I may or may not have been high. And I was like so uncomfortable. The the one Dude. of what what language deaf people born deaf people if you're born deaf in, and then they said they don't think in audio. That's how they like explained it. Well, that's what I told. I literally wrote you that back, and yeah. I said they think in oh, sign because, language. Oh, because I went to um, read the comments because I was like, hold the fuck what on. The fuck? So guess what? So my dad, right? My dad doesn't have no family whatsoever. So he grew up in a weird household, and his uncle, which I don't even, I was like, how the fuck did you even come across this man? Don't know. He had an adopted son who he's had since birth and bitch he was born deaf and he didn't have arms he yeah so i'm like um what how would to, you prefer this is not a fucking would you rather bitch <laughs> i'd rather be born dead bitch give me them arms uh yeah yeah i'll take the arms uh, i mean it's not yeah. an easy decision but it's an easy decision you could have used that as a would you rather for next yeah. week bitch but anyways yeah that's what i'm saying so i'm like how do you think in sign then you know like think about it you're like like you're in line you're like what is this bitch doing like you have an internal thought yeah how do you think that if you're deaf yeah you just, just what and like what this. and what language do you, you just think like, it in? like what, what you if think? you're in in china what if you're in japan what if you're in spain like how uh, yeah like how do you think that like or if you're like oh i'm gonna go grab that like how do you think verbally i don't know yeah it's weird that one ma'am i would that's why i sent it to you because i was shook when i seen that well i had asked my my so my piece of shit ex right he was like first of all um english was his third language and his english was the worst out of all three he fluently spoke spanish his number his first language was italian of course and i'm like when you dream what do you dream in and what he said say? only italian of course. only italian because that's his primary language yes and i was like really but you speak three languages so like how do you girl you get me down a loophole with this right shit. isn't it fucking mm-hmm. crazy and i dead ass asked him that years ago i'm like because i was just so curious well because that motherfucker and i should have known god was warning me is like when he'd sleep he'd freak the fuck out like i would wake up having to like console him because he'd be freaking out even I'm the like, demons are startled literally bitch i was like damn your daddy issues hit you hard as fuck huh yeah. not you fucking at 3 a.m fucking <laughs> freaking out no he would scream though I don't like that. Yeah, I would like, hit you him. You ain't even. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's like, I'm gonna drink some Nyquil. It's water. 
That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, it tripped me out though that he spoke three languages and he's like, oh, in mm. Italian. I'm like, girl, because I don't know. That is a good question. Y'all, this episode pretty much actually before we move on to the hot topics. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let's not do them all. Let's do. Hold on, wait. I have to let you guys know this is going to be our first episode that's pretty much like um hot topics. Well, pretty much, yeah. And we thought it would be fun to have my friend write down some random questions, and we do not know what is inside these little Easter eggs right here, and we're gonna answer them. So be my guest. Let me get one of these cute. Mm, we'll just do it. These ones are really cute, but we know that there's two. Oh, I thought there was two in each one. One only. One has two. Oh, okay. You wanna read it to me? No, read it out loud, girl. Are we both answering? Yeah. Oh no. Well, then what's the point then? You choose one, I choose one. Damn, she girl. Oh, she got the pink ink too. Okay, Nicki Minaj, read it out loud, man. Why are you? I hate her so. Why much. Why are you? Oh, I hate that you did that. If read it you out had loud. To, if you had to spend the rest of your life with one of your guy's brother-in-law, who would it be? Death is not an option. I love how she put death is not an option in there. Yeah, she knows. Death is never an option. If you had, wait, if you had to choose to, what was it again? Spend the rest of your life with one of your brother-in-laws. Oh. Dead ass. Oh. I would choose mine. Over <laughs> yours. <laughs> I I would too. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> no, oh, wait, I, I wasn't supposed to answer. Sorry, but I was just. No. Okay, now I'll choose one. Okay, and then we'll do one later on. We should have been doing the mid in between, mm -hmm. like a little randomly. But look, we were trying to incorporate Easter up in here, okay? Oh my God, this is long. Jesus Christ. I love how she cut it all small. <laughs> Dude, if you won the lottery but had to move to a different country and can only take one person with you, where would you go? <laughs> Who would you take? Well, okay, which country? So I would move to Japan. Yeah. and. I hate to say this, but I guess I would have to take my brother because, bitch, I couldn't take you because you have a son. I couldn't take her because she has kids. Like, who the fuck else am I going to take? So I would have to take my brother. Although I love my brother to death. I love him. But he does bore me a little bit. I'm like... I just didn't want to get confused anymore. <laughs> okay, love that. I know. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, but I... yeah. Japan, love that. I Never know. been. Girl. Anyways... Today's episode is pretty much a uh, hot topic. By... We have so many hot topics, y'all. I'm so sorry, but just so many things popped up this week that I was like, I have to talk about all. Actually, last week, one thing we did not talk about. Y'all are going to hate us for this because I know that me and her already share the same belief on this. <clears throat> there was this um, person who was in the Planet Finish restroom. <laughs> Who identified as a woman and this this woman put this person on blast. I'm like trying so fucking hard. Because if you guys have seen the picture, if you guys seen the picture, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like this person looks like a used car sells them. Okay. I <laughs> Hey, I did good, bitch. I said you car sells them. Okay. Cause I really wanted to say used car sell. You know what I wanted to say. Cause I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bitch. I'm trying to be politically correct, even though I was born to not be politically correct. Yeah. But whatever, right? This person, if you guys have seen what the fuck I'm talking about, identified as a woman and was in the women's restroom. And there was this older woman who went to the gym and was like, no. And literally took a picture of this Weren't person. shaving at the sink? Shaving. Okay. Shaving. Okay. Yes. And obviously, hey, w women shave too, you know? My mom. Not her. Not her. My Never mind. I was like, I'm going to put all my family on blast Oh, right but now. she's just shaving her peach fuzz. Well, my, and my sister has PCOS. So, no, not peach fuzz. So, that's why I was like, okay, I'm not I'm not trying to put people on blast no, here. But do, when you're that. a woman with PCOS, you you get this. But like what yours? Like your literal beard? This right here. But not your but entire some, beard. Some do, yes. Oh, okay. With PCOS, dead ass. I'm not exaggerating. Okay. That's why I was like, wait, okay. So, I don't want to be insensitive about that. But... Google it, you guys, because I don't want to put any pictures up on the screen because there was some news sources that did blur him or them out and some that bitch. <laughs> look, I want you guys, please, while you're listening to this, you guys can open up your Safari browser and Google the was whole thing. Was it Planet Fitness? It was a Planet Fitness, yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, here's my thing. Here's, here's my... I can't even believe this is considered a hot take. If you look... Well, go to the bottom line is that the woman got her account. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. The woman who was saying to the, to the Planet Fitness employees, 
was saying okay. this is not okay. There's a man. That's her words exactly, not mine. There's a man in the women's restroom, and they were like, oh, well, they identify as a woman, so it's okay. They revoked her membership. That's where my fucking yes. problem comes and in. And if you guys were to literally go Google it, like I said, you guys will see the picture, and I'm like, that's... It looks like a janitor. In the fucking women's restroom. That's not a janitor. That's a janitor them. Janitor them. Sorry, sorry. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm like, no, this is where if I was a fucking trans person, I would be triggered. Because when you're a trans person, you're trying to look like that gender. If because I was a trans you truly woman, believe that you are that gender. Exactly. If I was a trans woman, I would be sitting here with my nails done. You wouldn't have a beard. Done. I would have a, like, because I can't grow hair. You try I would your have best. A, yes. To look like a woman. This person is clearly. Uh, it clearly he looks, looks like, like a, a Kyle. Dude. He, he looks, looks like, like a fucking Kyle. He looks like, like a dude. Like that's Mark. Yeah, like come on. Mark, he it's Alberton. It's Kyle, Mark, Anthony. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, what triggered me is that her pass got revoked. Yeah. I'd be ready to fucking. I'd get a lawyer so fast. Yeah, sue the fuck out of them. Like that's what triggered. Like the whole other part, I'm like, oh. My whole thing is, is if you look that. You know, I understand this day and age, there's more gender neutral places, which I do agree with. I genuinely feel because I and I say this for my aunt. My aunt sometimes is like, fuck, I hate to go into the women's restroom because I yeah. look like a man. But then I hate going into the men's. I restroom can see how dumbasses would be confused by your aunt. 100%. Like somebody could read the room could see like, OK, that is a woman. She's just masculine. But a dumbass could be all like, oh, I don't know. No, they can't see that she's a woman. Everyone calls her sir because she's so tall. My aunt yeah. is six foot one, She's a like, big. and she has a shaved head. Fully, she looks like Amanda Perez on steroids. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. actually, no. Amanda Perez still wears. She still wears She's makeup. Like Femininish. But looks like a man. She wouldn't. Your aunt wouldn't let you put makeup on her. No, literally. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like gender neutral restrooms, 100 percent, should be a thing. But 100%. I really do feel like if you look like this person, go into the men's. Go into the men's. Yeah. Like you're just like think about the women change. Like some women do feel comfortable getting naked at the gym. Yeah. In the <clears throat> locker room, like you know, and that should be okay. But a dead ass for me, I don't get naked in the locker room. But if I did, and I seen like this type of person in there, yeah, I would be like, what the fuck. Yes. Like, but my whole thing is, how the fuck did you cancel culture came in real quick and took her gym pass away? No, not cancel culture. Planet fucking fitness. Yeah, because bitch. Planet Fitness is trying to abide by cancel culture because you question somebody's fucking identity. But isn't fucking Planet Fitness the same gym that you go to? Yes, I go to Planet This fitness. bitch fucking said that they have pizza parties. I said, what well, gym I, does I, pizza parties? I, when I used to go to a different location, I don't know what day of the week on Mondays, I think they would have pizza. See? And then you yeah. said that they had like a T jar of candy. Tootsie rolls. Tootsie Remember roll the homeless knocked them all over? Yes. I'm like, um, okay. like I go so early, I don't see none of that shit anymore. I understand but, that you're trying to be like, okay, like have a snack or whatever. And then whatever, they have like but... signs everywhere. And I only go because they're always open like, and it's convenient for me. And I'm not a, la a weightlifter. Like, I don't give a fuck. I hate when men come at me. Oh, yeah, we talked about that on day. Anyways. Um, my whole thing about it, look, my whole thing about it is, is I feel like if you look like that specific so gen obvious. Jo just go into the restroom of what you look like. And then I hope that eventually places will just start doing a gender neutral for the people that are like my aunt. Who, yeah. Who really is like, fuck, I hate going into the men's restroom because she can't obviously go to urinal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But she looks so much like but a man. But what I read that as is like that person that like obviously clearly to to majority looks like a certain gender. Yeah. And goes in that room. Like you're problematic. You're problematic. Yeah. You're problematic. Yep. yep. Like you, you know, like you're, you know, you're going to make, especially at a gym. It's not like a Taco Bell where I'm just taking a piss. Well, like, and then a lot of Taco Bells are just w one stall, so it's okay. Yeah, but at the gym, it's like women get naked in yeah, there. Yeah. That's where I'm not okay with it because they're showering, coming out in a towel. Yeah. If I came out and there was a man there and I was in a towel, I'd be alarmed. Yes. Yep. You know, and this person did look like a man. Yeah. That's why I say I'm so sorry, but like, uh, honestly, there's going to come, if, once again, I feel like low key, if I were the trans community, if I was a voice of the trans community, I would be like, we need to cut the bullshit. Because people who are genuinely trans, they should have a problem with this because they're making the trans community look, look crazy, bad. look yes. problematic. Yes. When genuine trans, I've known trans like men. Girl, me too. More so, I've known men converting to women and yeah. like they're feminine. Yes. They do their makeup better than me. Like they Nails want done, to be hair a, done. their girl. They're yes. the girl's girl. Like yes. that's what they are yearn for inside. Like the gender that they weren't born with. So they're like trying their best to. And then some, you see, I'm. 
Yeah. I just be getting triggered when I be seeing stupid shit like that. I just feel like I love how I have the picture right here. Like I said, I won't put it up on the screen because I'm Let not trying to put no bitch. people on blast. But I'm it. like, okay, so he looks like yeah, like a political scammer in a suit. I don't. Know, he also looks like he's on drugs, but that's not my not my business. Yes. Anyways, moving on to the next hot topic, y'all. Riley Strain, if you guys don't remember, that is the um, boy from Nashville. We yes. have an update about that. Tell me. Is that the mom is doing a private autopsy because apparently they did rule his um, death as drowning. But I did not know this and I did screenshot the comments, right? I'm going to read some of the comments because I just had to. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't see this on the actual news, but everyone was commenting commenting this on TMC. The 22-year-old didn't have his cowboy boots, pants, or wallet when he was pulled out of the uh, river two weeks after disappearing, right? Also, no fluid in his lungs. Then how did you drown? Dude. As a mom, I agree with her. No wallet, no boots, and no pants, no but pants. shirt still on. I'd get another autopsy as well. Another comment right here, and I'm telling you, these are all top comments on TMZ. You're telling me bro was, quote unquote, in a river for two, we two weeks with no water in his lungs, but yeah. yet you still think it's an accident? So they were saying that basically he died before he was in the river because I don't know. How do you have no boots and pants on, girl? Dude, literally. I don't know. But the, I feel like. don't come off in the water? If you. Because my whole thing, if you guys had watched our last episode when we had talked about it, right? My whole thing is I was like, oh, maybe he was so drunk that he thought like going to the water would sober him up and then maybe he just accidentally drowned. Mm -hmm. But the thing is you have to be alive to drown. You would have water yeah, in your lungs. Yeah, because you're drinking. Yeah, exactly. So the fact that he didn't have water in his lungs, I'm like, wait. What's going on here? So I agree with her, and I do hope that there is... Oh, that makes me so sad, dude. Right? That yeah. fucking case pissed me the fuck off. Like, fuck his friends. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. On to other mm. news. Um. Mm. Sorry, because... Um, this, this is stupid as fuck. And I don't know why I put this in here, but I was just like, this is stupid as fuck, so I'm going to put it in here. Kate Winslet's infamous Titanic door sold for $718,000 at an auction. And I love titanic i'm gonna be honest with you i watch titanic once a year honestly i don't know why for some when? reason just randomly once a year like i'm saying at least I once a year i can tell you wholeheartedly you've never seen it i have an idea about it like i i get the premise but you i've never, never sat there and watched titanic it's literally on i would i would say top 10 favorite movies of mine i love it i literally Love it. We could watch it together. Dude, and I think... I didn't ask for all that. Thank you. It is long, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have, we had like a movie night two times, this bitch. Yeah, one thing about me is I will fall asleep. And I'm all sitting there all into it. Um, No, I... You know what's so funny? It, this is so... This is gonna be like, bitch, are you serious? I feel like I really like it too is because my mom didn't do jackedly shit for us as kids. But bitch, I have a core memory of when Titanic came out. My mom took me and my sister to go see it. Why was she so pumped about seeing it? I don't fucking know. Mm. I don't know. But that's literally, I'm like, dude, my mom didn't take us anywhere. How big is the door? I don't fucking know. But why would you spend, se I don't give a fuck if it's as big as this house. Why would you spend $718,000 on it? Somebody it's, would. That's dumb. That's stupid. Like, I love the movie, but I would never, like, girl, I wouldn't even spend $718,000 on Kate Winslet herself. Like, what the Period. fuck? Period. Because I don't have it to spend. Period. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I'm going to have to watch that. I can't believe you've never seen Titanic. I get the gist. She's like, it's been 84 years. Well, <laughs> and I could still smell the fresh paint. I'm like, I, I don't know this shit by heart. I yeah. love that movie. Mm -hmm. Anyways, moving on. Lizzo, y'all, announced that she is quitting music. This is what... I like how I told her that I took a screenshot of it and I didn't even read it dead ass. So we're going to be all hearing it for the first time right here. I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than I uh, than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views dot dot dot. Being the butt of every single joke every time because of how I look. My character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name i didn't sign up for this i quit not the victim <laughs> i was thinking that too i, I was mean like, Damn, i mean okay how much she's a fucking millionaire if you don't want to like, do it okay don't do it but it's just like ma'am can i tell you this if our fucking podcast blew the fuck up and we're getting millions of views 
people are going to hate us. They're going to tear us apart. They're going to talk shit about our physical appearance. They're going to talk shit about our opinions. We're going to be... Just, come on. Honestly, it comes with the territory. You reading that to me just goes to show me that she's literally laid up at night scrolling through comments. Like, you're just reading what people say about you. But And that's so crazy to me because I feel like her For You page is filled with, like, food places. Do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Because mine hey, is. honestly. Mine is. I thought she was more confident than that because she posts right? hella nudes. She Not went, nudes, but she like. She went to the fucking Lakers game in a thong and you're over here worried about comments, bitch. That's Get what's confusing it. for me because what I think is like if you're that confident, which is fine. I'm not shaming her. Like, it's I'm just so, I'm low-key kind of confused. I'm shaming her. Don't ever fucking go to a Lakers game in a thong. Don't oh, no. That. Even if you're hot don't and skinny. E- dead ass. Even if you're sexy. I don't, I don't give a fuck if you're Carmen Electra. Ram- don't do even that. Even at the Rams game when the hot bitch stripper no. bitches came in. I was like, why? Like that. It's is- a family event. For, I don't, for girl. Sports it, I'm just like, you don't need to. Like, I don't give a fuck if you got the perfect ass. Like, you don't need to go to... And why fucking... are you sitting your cheeks on these dirty ass seats? Ugh, that's all I got to it's say. It's just so weird because she comes across, she presents as so confident by doing no, those things. but I do understand, like, okay, even I told you before, I'm like, bitch, don't read the Reddit forums to me or whatever because I know it's nothing but yeah. hate, you know? So I get that, but also, too, when you're blown up to that stature, you have to realize that you can still do what you want to do, make the, make the money, make the music, you can do all that. Ignore it. Maybe do you think Beyonce, passionate. do you think Beyonce reads her comments? No. She couldn't give a farts fuck about a comment, bitch. Literally, she doesn't, I'm, I bet you she doesn't even run her own social media. Same thing but with honestly, the Kardashians. But that, um, that little, uh, what do you call it, a statement? It was, like, low-key dramatic. It was very dramatic. Okay, that's how I feel about it, too. I don't even know what she's specifically referring literally, to. Literally, I was like, when's the last... I, literally, I don't... The only song I know deadass is like... I like I like her music. I really I do. Don't, I, don't I like her music. It. Yep. I don't not like it. I think... Um. Okay. I, I like her little flute shit. I, I don't know fully into it, but I think um I saw a comment that she was performing... Okay, no, I don't... I think You're it was Times sure. Square. I think it was she was performing somewhere okay. that they were protesting Joe Biden, and then after that, because she was performing, that they started talking shit. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, and then while yeah. we're at it, because I do think in the same comment section, maybe she didn't speak up about the Palestine situation, and we've said this before, and I've been seeing a lot of TikToks about this, and I'm like, like repost, don't give a fuck, cancel me, stop. I've reposted several of these. Stop asking fucking celebrities and influencers to speak on a matter that they don't know about. People don't want to get out there and speak against Israel. They don't want to get out there and speak against Palestine because they don't fucking know. And if you they do don't know, know you're and, not you're not a political figure. But if Stop. You, and if I'm just uh, nobody and I'm on my computer and I do know because I do invest my time to study and I did form my own opinion. What the fuck do you care what fucking Sharon Osbourne thinks or Lizzo thinks? If your opinion's formed, it doesn't matter what yours is. Yeah. Mine is formed. Yeah. They just but why do you need people to speak up? Like, stop. People oh. be like, oh, because they're a platform, because they're a platform. But guess what? If you speak up pro-Palestine, that means you're anti You know what she wants to do with her platform? Show her fucking thong at the Lakers game. Yeah. That's what the fuck she wants to do with her in, platform. I, in my opinion, she should. And there's nothing wrong. I mean, besides I, that, don't that. wear it to the Laker game. That's like, be on I'm the Rolling Stone cover in a thong. Sure. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Sure, sure, sure. Like, do that. Do that. Be naked on your Instagram. Sure. Don't care. Yep. That's what she wants to use her platform for, bitch. She wants to play her clarinet in a fucking tutu. Yeah. She doesn't want to fucking talk about Israel. Like, girl, my whole thing, and I'm sorry, but I'm so glad that people are speaking out about that because I fully... It's like our fucking dumbasses who have no political background speaking up about things because, yes, I did start... You will never in my life. The only opinion I no, have... No, I, I still do form opinions, but then... Oh, whatever, about you know. Israel and Palestine? Oh, I have no, no, no opinion. No. no, me neither. My opinion is don't tell me yours. Well, that ass. My whole thing, though, about that is, is like, even when I educate myself on it, we still don't physically know the full history. You know if you what speak, you find on the internet. Exactly. If you speak to people that live there yeah you're gonna find out something different yeah and americans fucking problem I'm is they think they know everything in american problems like fucking i have more opinions on shit that's on my soil not to be crazy <gasps> hold on goes into the next topic and i do have this written on my hot list so glad you said that that's yeah. a perfect segue is have you fucking seen what's going on in new york right now about how so many women are being attacked by homeless people and shit the city is r- they fucking... getting their ass beat go to jail come out four seconds later dude there's no, no repercussions no no there's not even that girl did you see bethany frank well, you, you don't know the Bethany Frankel. Yeah, Bethany the, Frankel, house, the yes. skinny one that makes skinny drinks. Yes, yes, yes. 
Bitch, she got hit too. She said it did happen like two months ago, but she barely made a video about it because she was like, everyone's making videos about them. There was this girl that went completely viral that she got fucking socked. She had the Cardi B knot in her fucking head by a homeless person that fucking, oh, I don't know if her, hers may have not been a homeless person, but it was a person, Bitch, right? LA Bims are going to get bad too, watch. Well, let's hope that they stay on their fucking Bitch, I will fight there, back, bitch. Girl, I would run. But anyways, Bethany Frankel ended up making, um, um, I TikTok about it, and she was saying that she was apartment shopping, and she used to live in New York, right? I think she lives in the Hamptons now. She stays in that. I think, I think, I don't know. Last I heard, and she was looking for another apartment uh, or another home, I should say, uh, an apartment in New York. And as soon as she was going to New York, she got clocked in the face, girl. And she was like, "Never mind." <clears throat> she told her realtor, "Like, I'm good. Like, I don't want to do this." And my whole thing is, and I was telling Jelly this before. If you guys go to Japan and you guys can Google this all you want, Dude. do you know that if you still ten dollars worth of something you could look up to 10 years of jail time for ten dollars ma'am they $10. push motherfuckers on the tracks over here in these subways and Ooh. kill them in japan you don't even talk mm -hmm. on the subways mm -hmm. you sit your ass down and just stand there quiet on your phone in silence yep and i'm so sorry but this is where i feel like um maybe we need to do something about this because i don't think it's okay but have you been seeing all the things that are happening in like all these um i don't know if it's here in california specifically but all these other states where now like these squatters can go into a house that's empty oh and my god but the ele this was literally on fucking joe rogan today was it really yes He's talking about they go put the electricity in their name, fake it, make a fake yes. lease and do all that. Yes. And then it's impossible to evict these motherfuckers yep. out of your house. Yep. You have to take them to court, which can take up to like 90 days to even get a court date. Triggered. He said it could take up over a year um, to get a court date. Oh, I thought it was 90 days for a court date, but then take a year to, to get to court. Yes. This is where I'm like, what I was world? What, I'm sorry, America sometimes is like. You're fucking... like I get it. I I've been a tenant, and we do need to protect tenants because I've had landlords trying yeah, to fuck yeah, me yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, if I own my, it's home, not your property though. And then the, and it's then not your property. Airbnbs are being taken over. Yes, yes. I saw a case actually. Um, I actually, you know what? Maybe that was here in Beverly Hills that an Airbnb had gotten taken over, and the person had been living in there for their months. Their main leave. Joe Rogan leave. said the hot in Atlanta. There was like twelve hundred active cases of of um, and that's only what's being uh, documented. Recorded, yes. Yeah, like that's what I'm. I'm sorry, girl. Bitch, we, how mm. ironic that you talked about that today, and that I was listening to that today. Dude, I'm sorry, but I keep seeing TikTok. Well, I saw a TikTok specifically about a girl that getting arrested me. for trying to force force this man out of her house. And he's like, well, you know what to do. You, you can take me to court. I'm like, what fucking world are we living in so that this homeowner... America. Like, girl, that, that that's why I tell you I'm sorry, but America's issue. I'm like, girl, we are literally a third world motherfucking Open country. Oh, okay. Well, since you called it, girl, I'm all, let me choose this one. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I think that we should all make a change. 100%. If you are voting, who will you be voting for, assuming opponents? <laughs> Not me getting that fucking question, Did bitch. You said only one of us answers. Damn. Um, okay, she said assuming opponents. Oh, this shady bitch. I'm sorry. I'm just going to go on a limb here, and you can cancel me. I'm not voting Melania for... Melania Trump. I'm no, not, just kidding. <laughs> I'm not voting for Biden. I, I, I... People have their, their gripes about Trump, and look, I understand. I don't think he's the perfect candidate. I don't even know necessarily if he's a good candidate, but I tell you what... I'll choose him over fucking Biden. Sorry. Good ass. Sorry. I'm sorry. We're being lied to either way. Yeah, That's literally. That's why I, I, I know some of y'all are going to hate me for this. Say it, girl. I'm not fucking voting. Oh, Ma'am, I already, I was the first one to say that in oh, our okay. like second podcast. And I was just going to say it again right now. I'm sorry, but living in the state of California and you not even voting. said, when I had said that, you were like, electoral college. And I'm like, exactly. People don't yeah. realize, people are like, vote, you have a voice. Like I watch RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm like, Drag if you Race. want me to, if you pay me, I'll go vote for you. Like you want me to choose a vote, who you want me to vote for? Pay me and I'll go give you my vote. I think the thing that only matters is, is, say for example, in my opinion, I think the only thing that matters about voting is when they have like props that you believe in. Oh, like, yes. Living, okay, like the California yeah, props. Yes. Well, yeah. not even necessarily California, but it could be you oh, know, yeah, around, nationwide. Around, nationwide. It could be the props. But when, it comes, down to, when it comes down to president... I think that they should have a separate thing because I 100% will vote for props. I think the props but are when important. you do your ballot, you have to choose a president. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sorry, but here I'm in the state of California. fuck Cali you. Yeah, no, literally, yeah. here in the state of California, we don't have a voice because it's been blue and it will forever be blue. Even if we wholeheartedly believed in the red candidate, what the fuck is the point? It's not going to flip. It don't matter. The electoral college, like, and here's another hot take right here. I feel that 
fuck the electoral college. Sorry. Yeah. It should be is- whoever has the most <clears throat> votes should be the winner. That's yeah. it. We're being lied to. Yeah. On either side. Either side. And you know what I was thinking of today? And I, I don't know what I don't know how this came up. Honestly, I don't care if it's left or right. I hate extremists. Far left and oh, yeah. far right. For- I can't stand it. Bitch, I'm the first one to say that. I'm like, if you're them. far on the left, hate you. If you're far on the right, I hate you. Yeah. Because I don't know. But I don't like being lied to, and we're being lied to on either side. I'm not I'm not either one, but if you sit here and I, you talk to a far right, the left is lying to us. Yeah. You talk to a far left, the right is lying. Like, bitch, I know I'm being lied to. I don't yeah. care to vote yeah. for a president. Yeah. Don't care. And then also, too, this is just my conspiracy, is like, what if it's a scam to make us think that we have a choice? Yeah. I didn't tell you to open one. I was waiting. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Fucking bitch. I have to go pee. So do I. Carl, we'll okay, be right perfect. back. We are back yeah and we're gonna read a little easter bunny question read the easter basket question if you could change not her knowing that i was gonna get this if you could change three things about your physical appearance what would they be Ooh, that's a good one it's a great one so why do i want to answer that one i don't know i want to answer that too okay let's answer it i don't but okay but honestly, dead ass, the older I get, I just like become, I accept things. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. so bothered as I used to be with things about me. Good. So, like, I I know that they won't. Is this one? There's red? no more. Yeah, there's no more to get confused with. That's what I'm okay. like. Okay. <laughs> um, for sure, we're going to go ahead and change our dead eye. That's going to be one of them. I mean, honestly, I know that's one of your insecurities, but I swear. It's bitch, not the. No. It, look, I notice it, but it's really not that bad. Yeah. If I have to stare at you to notice it, you know what um, I mean? And since yes. we've made it an ongoing joke, you know? And then I would. Let's see. Let's see. I know the next one starts with a F and ends with an A. <laughs> so why are you taking so long to say it? Um, I feel like my whole life. No matter, even before I had a kid or anything, I've never had a flat stomach. You have a really nice stomach, though. I do have to say. I know, but I always have that, that little this pouch. This bitch. Okay. The, well, the fupa? Yeah, my fupa. Like, I've I know, always had, like, like, a little. And, but on dead, I swear to God. She has opened day, up so many times about her, her hating her fupa. I do hate my fupa. Lot. But on, I swear to God, literally. But um, that's not part of your stomach, though. Like, two or three days ago, I was looking in the mirror, and I was like, Oh, she's looking different because you know I've been going to the gym almost every fucking day. At fucking yeah, day. and I was like, oh, okay. But, but I was gonna say this. I is... would want to. F- I don't know what it's like to have a flat tummy. Yes, but I also was gonna say is when I had said that she has a nice stomach is because I was like, what the fuck? I'm just so you like me as a man. I have stretch marks, right? We were out there in um, Laughlin, and she was, like, in her little skimpy... Um, yeah, I didn't get stretch marks on my belly. I was like... I have, like, light, faint ones. But- I No, girl, I did. I, so I was like, why don't you have stretch marks? I was baffled by that. Because mm-hmm. I was like, how do I, as a man, have more stretch marks than you? And you had a whole-ass baby. Bitch. And I had, you just got I lucky, had stretch huh? marks when I... They went away. Because I was... I was... Mine didn't even go away even when I tanned. I feel like mine were more Tanning prominent when I tan. Go away for sure. I know everyone me, said that yeah. with bio oil too. I tried. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, mine are still there. But I've never like felt like I had just a flat tummy. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so I'd give that yeah. a try. A third one. Mm. This is where I think you're thinking too much of it because you've already made those alterations. Like I look at you and I see. Oh, I'm like, like I, I would probably have like full lips. Yeah. Because I've got like filler and Botox and stuff. So maybe if I naturally had full ass lips, yeah. I would feel like hot because yeah. I have, I've got filler. So if I was born with like a set of like Angelina Jolie's, I'd be like, oh. Mm. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'd be a little taller. That'd be cool. Fuck. Uh, my my i'm like fuck up three for me girl I'm, <laughs> that's why i said girl I, okay one i would get a fucking hair transplant 100 percent. well would no that. you wouldn't have to you just have hair oh you yeah, change, yeah you know what was the thing change any physical appearance of any physical oh yeah yeah. okay so i would have hair one <laughs> a full head two chop off my fucking tits hate them <laughs> three like i don't even mind being hairy in the front this is doesn't bother me at all i hate having a fucking hairy back and hairy shoulders hate that hate it so those three would be okay but now i've seen this in the comments before too they're always like uh, what do you love about yourself i tell me you, three things okay, physical you know what's weird and it's so crazy because i don't see it 
But the number one compliment I fucking get, bitch, is my eyes. Yeah. Every bitch and every guy that I've talked to and even the comments before, like your eyes are beautiful. And then people when I do my makeup will be like, oh, your eyes look like Kendall Jenner's or Kylie Jenner's or whatever. And uh-huh. I'm like, I, I did a side by side and I was like, oh, I see what they're saying. The shape. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, if you guys were to see my dad, my dad has like the fucking brightest eyes, mm-hmm. like the brightest fucking blue. Mm-hmm. They're like, I think your weird. lashes blue- are perfect. Your brows are perfect. Well, like, no, I, I like what well, I mean. Down and finish, girl. I was just, I was still. No, I mean like your whole eye. Well, oh, 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 got you, got you. Okay, because my whole thing is, I guess maybe because I'm like, fuck. Out of three kids, right? My dad has crazy eyes, and yeah. we, all of us, are fucking shit brown. But yours are like, yours are way lighter than mine. Yeah, they're they're, the like light, they're, like yeah. they're like a root beer. They're like hazel. Yeah, they're like a root beer. They call them root beer. beer. Yeah, they call them root beer brown. Oh, okay. But anyway, so I I do <laughs> I do like my eyes, but I've never paid attention to it. Okay. I think if I had to, also I do have to say I really really like my nose. Okay. Like my nose to me, and I do get oh, compliments God. on my Hate nose. Mine. <laughs> Then why wasn't that on one of your three? Which she wasn't as important. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I do have to say, um, I really, really do like my nose. Um, and okay, this is gonna be a little hypocritical because I do hate how red my skin is, but I love how smooth my skin is. Yeah. My skin is, re- and I do when I have on my makeup. People are like, "Fuck, your skin is so smooth." Yeah, you don't and have like, like pores or anything. I like don't. That. I I really. No, you don't. I'm I right here really. In your face. Yeah. yeah. And everyone will always be like. Bitch, you don't have like any pores. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I or like blackheads or anything like that. Yeah. Just, so yeah, I would say those three things. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Other than that, I couldn't tell you. If yeah. you were to tell me to name four, couldn't tell you. Because the fourth, I couldn't tell you. Dead ass. I think I like my smile. I think I have a nice smile. I hate my smile. You, you do have, have, you do you have a nice smile. smile with your mouth closed. I smile yeah. with my open. But my problem is that when I smile big, my eye shrinks. Oh, that is true. But I like my but you, smile. Yeah, you do have a nice smile. I think I like my, overall, I like my, um like I think I have like almost an hourglass. Like I have. I have really nice hits. Um, What's your fucking third? Because I'm going to sock you if you don't choose what I'm thinking. Now I want to hear it. It's something I always compliment you on. But anyways, no, 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 go ahead. You, you answer. It's yours. But I will say it. My feet? I have some nice ass toes. I, I have never... Dude, you never bitch, complimented him. This bitch don't know me at all because I have a foot phobia. Yeah, what okay. Do you, what I do don't you give call... a fuck if they're the what is best the... feet I in the world. I think I have nice. To... I have great I toes. I hate feet with a passion, and we've talked about this before. If my man were to ask me to suck on his toes, I don't give a fuck if you're a bad bunny. I wouldn't do it. I'm like, what's I, the, I the, what out. were you thinking? Your complexion, like oh. this bitch. She doesn't get hyperpigmentation. Like you do have pores. But her skin tone is so even, whether she's running a fucking mile in 120 degrees or it's fucking freezing cold, she doesn't turn red. She doesn't flush. Like, and I said this about Genevieve before, too. You guys, all of you guys have an even complexion. I yeah. would not. Like, I don't ever get red. Yes. Never. I would not wear on oh, our Easter direction. Di- directions. <laughs> you good, girl? Decorations, y'all. Y'all, okay. I'm a little bit buzzed oh, yeah, today. Bit. Um, there you go. It bothers me because I'm like, I would not, I wouldn't wear any makeup if I had your guys' skin tone. Like, we're on vacation and shit, and I just feel the need even to just put on a little bit of skin tint or a little bit of powder to tone down my redness, and she could go out bare face because she doesn't change. But me, I turn so fucking red that I'm like, yes, I'm like, oh, I hate it. So I think that that should have been your third, but you know. Love that. Fuck your feet. Ew. I hate feet. They gross me out. Oh, my gosh. Should we talk about Diddy first? We only got two more hot topics. We still do have a couple more questions, but should we talk about Diddy first or the conjoined twins? Diddy. Diddy. Okay. I'm so, I'm so, you read my mind on that. Yeah. Okay. Y'all wanted to talk about the Diddy situation and I did tell her. <laughs> Y'all, I should have been, I should have been in special classes in school. I really should have. And I'm acknowledging that. Mm-hmm. I told her, let's talk about Diddy, but I want to be um, obviously like thorough and I want to know all the details. Informed. Girl. So did I. And so what did I do? I went to TikTok to get informed. She sent me a TikTok and I said, I started watching into it and I got overwhelmed because there's just too many things. Mm-hmm. And then everything is um, speculative. But yeah, there's, n- I, I don't, I can't figure out what's definite. What's, yeah. Like they were saying he got arrested. He didn't get arrested. Or did he? Did he? Did he not? <laughs> did he I, not or did he? I was like, dead ass cannot keep. All I know, at the end of the day, something's going on. Something's going on. Well, my, here's what I do know. 
His house got raided in Los Angeles, and, and it got raided yeah. uh, in Miami. Miami. And here's where things started getting so crazy is because everyone was tracking his plane, and they said that it was flying to the Bahamas. He, or was, was it Bahamas? A, or? No, he was in an island where they specifically cannot extradite you back to America. Is what I heard on a speculation. Okay, his jet was being fl- flown somewhere, but he wasn't on the jet. It was just being tracked because, like, you can track Taylor Swift's jet or whatever. That's why she like switched out her plane or whatever. How do they track? I don't fucking know. These sleuths, they have the thing. They know how to do it. I know. So they saw that his plane was going, and it was in fact, it was in fact going to an island. I could have sworn it was part of the Bahamas. I don't fucking know. And he wasn't there. Because they found video of him. TMZ got video of him outside of... With his of... daughters. A bowling alley. Oh, I literally could be making shit up right fuck. now. I'm like, whoa, I don't remember a bowling alley. He was standing he outside. Was... It looked like a mall. Oh, he was with his two twins. Oh. And he, he... Didn't know he had two twins. They're like 13. Oh. They're like... Low-key, though. They're... I'm not even trying to be judgmental. But, like, they're on their... Inst... I've seen their Instagram Whenever before. you say that, you scare me. Just letting you know. They're they're young and they're like Instagram is super like um prov- Thoughty. like it's just too much for a girls that age. I feel like but a that's lot the world of, we live yeah, in. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like honestly because I do. But have then some that's cousins why I'm like thank God like... I didn't have a daughter because like I don't think it's okay for 13, 14 year old, fifteen. Thought year old daughter or gay son? Gay son. You know what I saw the other day? A gay son is a thought daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I could uh... I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree it's more. It's just like if I thought, daughter, I want to fight her all the time. That's why your mom wants to fight you. I know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, dead ass, thought daughter, gay son, a gay son is a thought daughter. No, it really, if you think about it, if you think about it, a gay son is a thought daughter. It's just like, yeah, but your gay son's never going to be 16 and pregnant. <laughs> True. Anyways, the Diddy situation. Okay, look. I started watching TikToks. I started reading on it, and I was like, "There's too much." We're just not informed. It literally, it literally led into Jay Z. I'm not exaggerating. It led into Jay Z having a side bitch. He got the side bitch pregnant, Killed and then her. had her killed allegedly. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you guys know, and then everyone's like, "Oh, that's what Beyonce's talking about, Becky with the good hair." I'm like, "How did I go oh, from Jay yeah. to okay. Jay Z?" See, I ended up on some funk shit too, dude. And I was like, I just can't. Oh. Right. So look. All we know right now is for sure is that his house is raided, obviously, because of trafficking charges. Low-key, it kind of seems like the um, Andrew Tate. Did you Tate... about the tunnel? He's a tunnel, underwater tunnel. Man, um, you have an underwater tunnel. I, I literally was like, I just need an itemized list. Right? That's what I said. I was like. like uh, in, in order of everything that's factual. I don't factual. want no speculations. Yeah. Speculations. Speculations. The directions are. <laughs> Happy Dads are getting to it. Speculations. I don't want him. Yeah. Talk about the twins. Not Diddy's twins. The conjoined twins. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so sorry. Look. We just, I mean, unless you have facts and we're, we're reading the comments, I just, I don't, it's just. No, so... everything right now at the time of a spill. F- f- <laughs> Speculations. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, not me. This is the most lit I've been on this podcast. Just letting you guys know. And we're talking and you, about the serious you, things. You're on your third beverage. Barely. Oh, wow. Dude, it's because I've been eating so clean. Like, clean, clean. Like, kale salads, you know? I'm like, there's nothing to absorb the alcohol. Yeah. Anyways. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to move on, and I was like, what are we talking about? Uh, the twins. We're moving on to the No, we're not moving on to the oh. twins. So, look, as of right now, it is just... Speculations. speculations. Yes, exactly. That's I was like, what the fuck was I saying? Everything right now is speculation, okay? <laughs> but I do have to say this, though. I find this to be really ironic is because while we were on my main channel, this was one of the first videos you did be on, is that Cassie. Cassie. Cassie is the fucking number one person to bust this shit she open. She didn't bust it up open. Girl, if I was her, I would be scared. Like, I would be scared. I'd be hiding in a little hut in Japan. So, if you guys don't remember, Cassie had said, like, he did X, Y, and Z, and then he settled out of court, and we talked about this before when we were doing little videos on my channel. Well, I think we did, like, two parts. The first yeah, thing we was, did. like, we yeah, don't we know. Anybody yeah. can say anything. And, and the then he settled out of court. When he settled, then we're like, 
We know. A motherfucker that rich is not going to settle out of court because they'll beat you're not, you. And you're not going to tarnish my name. Well, also. If I didn't do it. If you look at Cassie's net worth, what the fuck is her? What has she done since um she did Boys with Nicki Minaj back in like 2000? Never heard. I literally can only tell you me and you. Hold again to my head. All I can say is me and you. Uh, she had another one, didn't she? No. So I was like, I'm sorry, but he has way more money than her. And uh, he could take her to court and win all day, every day. The yeah. fact that he settled out Put of court. Put her ass in jail for defamation. Something, right? Yeah. And I'm like, um, the fact that he settled out of court. Yeah. Speaks uh, volumes. Everyone says, okay, settling out of court is easier. Cause but it's, it, when it comes to tarnishing your name like that, yes. you're not going to settle. Absolutely. So to me, it, in my opinion, my opinion, that's admitting guilt. Because you're like, let me just pay you. And she took the money and ran. But I tell you, ever since then, Diddy has been in a downward trajectory. And it is just going more down and more down and more down. Loki, though, never liked him. Never I, did it I, for me. I used to like Sean John. I did. The clothing? Yeah. What the fuck else would it be, bitch? I didn't Love say that. Long John Silvers. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, the... F <laughs> we know you like your tackle boxes. <laughs> Um, let's do a question. I'm and trying we'll to be like the twins. Oh, hold on, wait, let me stop no, you falling don't. on that me. Was you. Oh. No, I didn't, I didn't fucking blame you. I was telling this little bitch, y'all. Yeah. Shout out to the decoration. Four more. Um, just want to let you guys know if we ever had a fucking budget, we would have a cute setup for our podcast for each holiday. Just letting you guys know. But oh, we got our first ever um paycheck from YouTube. We did, and we want to thank y'all. Yeah, it was 117. And we split okay. it, and we bought a. <laughs> You cases. <laughs> so if you guys ever question our Dollar Tree decorations, we're trying, okay? We don't have the money. Let me grab this one that has two questions in it. You know why? I'm going to shake it up, and one's going to go to you, and one's going to go to me. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. Shake it like a salt shaker. Okay. These are cute as fuck, honestly. Aren't they? They're so cute. Save them. Oh, no. No, Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess. Okay. You well, take a shot. Well, <laughs> one's for you. One's, you go first. I opened the last one. Did I? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, it was political as fuck. What is your biggest weakness and vulnerability? Toxic masculinity. I thought you said you hate toxic masculinity. Yeah, but it's um, less my like. I know that I'm addicted to it. I really. I figured this out the other day. Because at first I was. Thinking, this is breaking news. I didn't know it that. Is, oh, I talked to Derek about it. Mm. I was like, at first I was like, I think I'm addicted to men. Oh well, ma'am, I've been. And then that. I was like, no, I'm not addicted to men. I'm addicted to the attention that men give me. And then I'm like, and then he was like, no, you're addicted to toxic masculinity, and it is because. That's the kind of man I like. No, because not even. Well, yeah, yeah, I could agree. I with like that. a manly man, overly manly. But when you had said which you're is addicted usually to, toxic. but when you had said that you're addicted to men, I could fully agree with that because I do notice I'm like, and maybe you know I'm. Maybe but it's I'm not the, the man. I, it's not the man. I'm addicted to the attention that they, in whatever form, if it's nasty attention, regular attention, just not not necessarily like bad. I don't feed into like fucking just you know rude yeah but like any form of positive attention i'm i'm eating that shit up mm. i wonder where that's oh my god we we unlocked a new level because now i want to yeah, know yeah because i was thinking about it, it the other day and i was like daddy issues daddy issues that is daddy issues case because yeah. i told her before like i'm like girl you got daddy issues which is really really common and it's, it was like i didn't understand because it's like i have a dad in the home it's not it's my stepdad but he's been my dad and but was he assertive? Was he no, a father? No, no, like, no. My you know? mom did everything. My oh. mom took the role. Yeah. Like, my dad never told us shit. Like, my stepdad never told us anything. He never parented us. Like, he was just mm. there. You know, bless his heart. Like, I, I loved the parent that he was. But I never had, like, a dad figure. Yeah. Like, to not necessarily lay the law down, but to, like, be a dad. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Well. And maybe that's why I've always like cha like I've always wanted to have a husband. Like now, yeah. my v now I do not feel that way. But like up to like twenty eight, twenty nine, I've all I ever wanted was a husband. And now I'm like, like uh, now I'm getting older. But like I definitely acknowledge that I'm like definitely. That's so good of you to acknowledge that. You I, know why? Because it's very rare. I'm for not saying I'm trying to... to change it right now. So relax. I'm just acknowledging. I say, ma'am, the summer's coming. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. God damn. Well, I acknowledged mind. it. That's it's a start. 
Okay. Maybe spring, summer. I'll deal with it. Hey, I've always, like, acknowledged, not on the internet, but to every friend that I know, that I've, I will acknowledge that I've had mom issues, right? And mom issues are kind of like, I want you to, like, typically of a man who has mommy issues, they want you to coddle them. They want you to be, like, uh, not necessarily for me because I don't like affection. Like, if she were to hug me right now, I'd feel so fucking uncomfortable. But there are men out there who have mommy issues that, like, they want to be, like, Oh, me, I was with somebody like, like that. Yeah. I had an ex who did who their mom was a piece of shit to them and they were like They over you see my my version is I want you to And they were hypersexual too. Like over the top. Okay, well fuck, you're maybe I don't have mommy issues then. No, I'm like, maybe not like, that you either. Have one side, but then maybe no, you have like a mix. My thing a mix of what? You don't like to be like touched. Oh, well, I thought you meant a mix of like mommy and daddy issues. I was like, oh, no, bitch, no. my dad was like no, literally not dad, just a mix of issues. But I do, too. I'm not shaming you. <laughs> Hold on. What do you think are my other issues? I want to know. Oh, I don't know. I'm just whatever makes you, like, not receptive to, like, overly sexual shit. I think the lack of fucking... On both of my parents and I... have Well, first of all, I've never heard from my parents, I love you. Ever. Not once. No, I know. Not once. Which, it's so crazy because... But it makes sense to me why you are the way you are. Yeah. Like you're not affectionate. You're not, you're you're very loving, but not in a loving way. You're but loving I'll and dick. show you. Oh, you'll take care of. If yes. I'm fucked up, you're gonna take care of me. Yeah. And that is a very much form of love. Girl, I'll take off your shoes. I put yes, a blanket like, on you. Very, I, that is very much loving. Yeah. But you're not gonna sit here and be like, love you and hold, hug me and like. This bitch, when she gets drunk, she tells me I love you, and I'm like. And you sit there like a deer <laughs> in the headlights. I'm like. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> you're like just fall so i can help you please <laughs> it's just it's uncomfortable for me you know yeah. what i mean it's really uncomfortable but yeah so i'm tapping into my my um it's good addictions oh wait what was the wait what is one addiction of my, it was like vulnerability what is no it? i'm like what the I fuck never, it said I addiction i don't know did it i thought vulnerability bitch oh weaknesses and vulnerabilities the fuck did we go to addiction, feel, well, bitch? I do feel like I'm, like, addicted to that shit. Like, oh. and it, it's a weakness because I'm addicted to it. Well, I have, bitch, you know I've said this. I was like, okay, girl, like, sometimes maybe you just need a break from the man. You need to, like, fucking, and you're like, nope. And I, I always call her impulsive because I'm like, this bitch, like, and I'm like, girl, stop, think, process. I am very impulsive. Yeah. Shocker. Yeah. You know what? I'm impulsive when it comes down to trips. You want to go somewhere? Let's go. Uh, you want to do this? Let's go. When it comes down to dicks. <laughs> We rhyme. Okay, let me read my fucking question over here. Oh, my gosh. God damn. Where do you see yourself in five years on this same couch? <laughs> Y'all, is it fr- it's going to be a what day of the Wait, week? Wait, five years from now. Oh, no. Five years from now is going to be a Wednesday. Probably asleep by 12, I would say. Maybe we could. It's probably not going to be the weekend, right? So No, um, say a real thing. A good, po- say a positive thing. Um, well, okay, so you want me to say, like, a fucking aspiration? Like, where I would hope to be? I want you to manifest something right now. I hate men, so why would I manifest? (laughs) Um, no, okay, if I, okay, if I had to be fucking cheesy and wish, like, Mm -hmm. look, I've recently said, if you guys have not seen my, look, my regular channel is dying, um, and I've, I'm like, okay, I'm borderline, like, let me just go get a real fucking job, but if I'm being honest, I love creating content, I love creating travel content, I love creating, you know, just even talking videos, whatever I do on my main channel, I love this podcast, I would hope that one day it would pop the fuck off to where this would be my job, because let's keep it real, Look at every single, um, how do you call them, uh, late night talk show host. Mm-hmm. They're old as fuck. Yeah. We can do this until retirement age. Do you know what I mean? So 100%. the age is not the issue. Because yeah. my parents have said, like, no, you need a real job because how are you going to fucking retire? I'm like, um, that's funny because Stephen Colbert is, like, fucking 70. Like, come yeah. on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at Jay Leno retired at, like, fucking 70. Like, come on. Like, mm-hmm. Stephen Colbert is not really 70. I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean? He's so probably, like, late, late, late 50s. Yeah, late 50s, I would say. I like don't, even think, I don't even think he's 60, to be honest. I was It was a joke. But honestly, if I had to say in five years, I would love for something of my social media to pop off because it genuinely is my passion. Like, that's yeah. what I want to do. I, I, I love creating content. I do have to be honest. Like, one, as, as as we go on in our podcast, like, that is becoming my passion. But I love travel content yeah. so much that I'm like, fuck. Like, but in my perfect world, I would say travel content and podcasts. Five years from now, that's what I would. Love that. 
I would love to. And you know what's so funny? I do. Okay, here we go into the relationship thing. Is five years from now, I don't even see myself in a relationship too. I don't because I I really have realized that I think that I'm gonna find the man of my dreams when I'm in my forties. And I know that that sounds kind of sad, but I have a reason for that. Is the more that I go on, I'm I'm learning to realize that even gays in their thirties are still they don't want what I want. And I want commitment. I want a partnership. I want us to grow together. And gays in their thirties. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them. And the straights don't even want commitment. Yeah. Well, some do, you know. But I'm saying for the most part of which I'm seeing on dating Mm -hmm. apps and things, they're not looking for commitment. So in five years from now, I'll still be in my 30s. So You know what I was thinking? It's like, you know how we always say, like, just to be honest with what you're looking for, be honest. Why can't people be honest with their intent? I feel like, honestly, dead ass, these motherfuckers don't even know what yeah. they're looking for but it's fine though because say you don't know what you're looking for but i feel like before you get on this app you shouldn't have an idea like okay uh you can be, the, even if you want like this my intent going on this app is to meet people that i can hang out and hook up with and if it leads to something serious i am open to that but how do you how do you go into it knowing what you want when you go on the app and there's fucking five thousand different fish in the sea because that's like me like I have an idea of what I want ultimately, but for the meantime, I'm like, I'm not going to find that anytime soon. So for now, I'm like, whatever. Open to anything. Yeah, because like my goal's here, but like I know like the first person I swipe on, like I'm not going to find it right away, if ever. Like, so I understand that, but like to sit there, like to just be like so. Willy nilly. Yeah, like just, I don't know. I think that's why I'm anti even meeting up is because I know exactly what I want and I'm just a relationship person. I, I always, bitch, even my friends with benefits, how did, how, how was me and my friends with benefits hooking up for seven, eight years? Good like, dinner. girl, I know, like, come on, you know what I mean? But it was consistent. It was, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and I, the reason why I say that is because I'm like, dude, the yeah, fact- Yeah, that shit expired. That's a long ass time, bitch. I know, but I was so fine with it. I was so fine with it. And I'm telling you, I just like consistency because I, I'm, t- bitch, how can my mom, be, how can my mom be with my dad since she was 13? Well, who doesn't 13. love consistency? We all do. A lot of people don't. I want consistency. No, a lot of people want like, woo, woo. woo. No, I've, I've been having woo, woo, and I want, but- Anyways, I had a thought. That's what yeah. I thought. Like, people don't even know what the fuck they want nowadays. Yeah. I know what I want. And that's okay not to know, but it's like acknowledge that you don't know. Yeah. Say, I don't that's know what I want. That's what I said. Want. That's literally what I and said. Then, and then they're just like, people are so afraid to like, they want to. Because they don't want to get rid of their potentials. And so if they mm-hmm. were to specifically say, hey, I'm looking for hookups only. And if a, a person. Had, no, like, or a person was like, I'm not into hookups. Like, so I'm going to dip out now. Yep. They don't want you to dip on now. So and and if that man was like, "Damn, this bitch is fucking fine. She's yeah, I want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna say whatever. They want. But my whole thing is, and look, we have ninety eight percent females watching this. Okay, my whole thing is is stop eating up everything that men say. Mm-hmm. I have nothing but girlfriends, and I do have to say across the board, across every single female friend that I have believes every word a man says, whether they're in their 30s, 40s, or 50s. And I do have friends in all groups of ages. And I'm like, why do you the believe? The 40-year-olds are lying, too, just so you know. The 40-year-olds are lying. <laughs> the 50-year-olds are lying, too. I haven't met a 50-year-old yet. Well, maybe. But whatever. I'm saying, like, across the board to, to all three of those fucking, how do you call it? Decades. It's mm-hmm. like, how do you not learn that the men just fucking tell you whatever they want to tell you? You just have to, honestly, the only thing, you, you maybe you shouldn't be, you don't have to be so negative, like, oh, you're lying to me. You just like, you know, but you have to fill it out and make sure they're actually. No, I'm not saying that. What no. I'm saying is watch yeah. actions. Actions yeah, like, are more important. If, if they say it, okay, next week they prove it, then that's cool. Absolutely. But if, if you're saying it and you're like waiting and waiting and it's not happening, whatever they're fucking saying, then you can like go ahead and just read a room by that yeah. point. Like, and stop hoping for a man to change. I'm sorry. Because one thing that I always I always tell her, I'm like, there's a little fucking gnat flying around. One thing and I always tell her, I always see these therapist women, they have a podcast together, and they're always talking about if a man wanted to, he would. And if you out if you're like that's a, oh, that's a phenomenal I, thing to I realize. love my man, but I just want him to be more romantic. And they will say, That man has romance in him, just not for you. Like literally, as soon as right, you saw that fucking little bitch. bitch. You're fucking up our directions. Fuck. (laughs) Uh, No, not you. I was talking about that. (laughs) Anyways, and that's my whole thing is there's so many people that I know of like, 
oh, this man would be so perfect for me, but if he was this way. And guess what? Maybe he might be, maybe he won't be. If somebody really wanted to, say, for example, if you're dying for romance, you want that, like, you know, dinner on the beach, picnic on the beach, surprises, whatever the fuck. Surprises, Surprises. A man will have it in them for the right person. If you express that to your man and he doesn't provide it for you, that means he doesn't want to give it to you. No, That's I think, it. like, for, like, what's really big for me is, like, you just have to tell yourself. Even if sometimes out loud, I'll be like to myself, if he wanted to, he would. 100%. If he wanted to, he would. And a man co- does not have any qualms about looking thirsty or yep. kissing a bitch. And if he does, because I was with an ex- Bowser, he was so concerned about looking thirsty and like chasing me. Even years into us being together, he would never like put effort to chase me. And it's just, but if he wanted to, he would. Yeah. If literally. a man wants to, he would. He doesn't care how dead. Like, he doesn't care. A man is naturally. A predator, like he's gonna go chase you, or what do they say? Like, bro, what you gotta bring James Charles into this? <laughs> no, I mean, like, um, um, like they want they're gonna get their prey, like, yeah, you know, a man, now, bitch, is, I'm joking, bitch. I know what you mean, yes, but man, like, if if he, like, uh, if I could get that tattooed on me, just to remind myself, yeah, if he wanted to, he would, he would, well, whether it be a text, a call, a date. Um. Uh. Anything. If they want to, and it applies for women too. Oh, that's what I was gonna if, say. I was like, if they wanted to, they yeah. Would. If they Whether want it be to, friends, they will. family, whatever the fuck. If I want to talk to a, somebody, if I want to do, like, I'm gonna do it. What? Well, like, if you want to, you will. Yeah. Anyways, Love that. let's move on to our very last topic. Um, and in the middle of the topic, we will. Um, hold on, wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Our very last one, the conjoined twins. Um, what are their names? I like how I don't. I don't Amy? have. And Tammy. No, no, no. Can no. you imagine if they were conjoined? Literally can't. I don't know that. Other it's Abby, bitch. Oh, okay. Abby okay, and my Brittany. Bad. Okay, my bad. Abby and what? She thought I said thousand pounds, sisters. So Abby and Brittany, they Brittany. are two conjoined twins. They have a TV show on TLC, or they did. They ended up well. Well, one ended up getting married to a man. Amy did, right? Girl, I don't fucking know. It I'm going to read Amy. the full article. I'm going to go based upon what the fuck I know, okay? Here's my thing. They Oh, li- a little detail for you guys that don't know. They're conjoined twins, but they share... So there's one leg per side, right? So there's only two legs. There's Oh, that's the double sign. I just did it right now. Yeah, you slow your roll, bitch. Bitch, you did it on a podcast too, I remember. Like last week's episode. I think we're Illuminati or something throwing cigarettes. Hire me, bitch. Oh, my God. Let's in here. Illuminati. I'm all bitch. I'm all. Pay me. Um, Wait. Do they have four titties or two? I don't know about that one. I know it's conjoined at the waist. Yes. But I don't know. I I feel like they're conjoined right here as well. Well, they are. So I don't know about the titties. But so basically there's one one arm, one arm, one one leg, one leg, right? And they do say, yes, there's two heads and they do share a vagina. And so, they said the mom, in their earlier days, the mom said all their organs work. They're reproductive organs. Yes. Too. Because yes. I saw an, a, a, you know, part of the article that had said they legally don't know who would be classified as the parent if they gave birth. But fuck all that shit, right? My whole thing is, is one of them got married, okay? It was very clear to every, like, they verbally said Amy's marrying... Josh Chad. here. Oh, yeah, whatever. Chad, Josh. Fucking Chattanooga. <laughs> I, I'm mind blown, okay? Because my whole thing is if I was conjoined, okay, and I'm trying my hardest to, like, yeah. think outside of the box here, I would make a pact with my sibling that I'm conjoined with that we're never getting married. We're never. Because what if that other person, because you have a whole separate brain. So you have also, also, and I was asking her this before, if you're conjoined, what if you're two girls conjoined and one of you is wholeheartedly repulsed by men you're a lesbian you love women and the other one's like i love men what do you do like you sit there and Dead like ass. okay i'm i swear i'm not trying to be funny these are the thoughts that were running through my mind like i'm not trying to be funny the we're confused girl what if like okay you make the pack like we're not gonna be with other guys and what if somebody wants to like flick the bean do you like I'm just so confused on so many levels. Right. Cuz I'm not trying to shame them or make fun like they should have sex too. No, I just feel like but these I'm are just, genuine concerns. Like you can't sit there and expect them not to have any sexual encounters their whole life. Like that's impossible. Bitch, I can't Well, go they could my, have like, a, what? they could have a sexual encounter with a cucumber or a dildo. Like why but who's you... holding it and like 
who's moaning. Like, do you under, like? And you're I having asked sex her, with your sister at that point. I, <laughs> I, I'm not being funny. I'm not being facetious. No, you're actually being facetious. I'm literally being, down I'm, to the definition <laughs> because it's like you're joking, but you're being serious. I'm being hundred percent serious. So you're being facetious. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just so confused. Yeah, there's just so many questions that I would really like to know. But my whole thing is specifically getting married is meaning that this man is now living with you guys. And you and gotta sleep next to him every night. Every night. Like, what if you don't like him? And what if your sister is so infatuated and so in and love? she drags your body to make him breakfast every fucking morning, to wash his laundry every fucking morning, to have his kid. Do you think that one brain controls each leg? Like, say, for example, the one on the left controls the left arm and left leg. Because what if you're just like, no, I won't do it. I'm dead weight, bitch. Try me. She could only move one side. She wants to have kids and be married, and she wants to be a hoe. She's like, I'm taking our vagina out to Tinder yeah. dates. Give this bit, pop this bitch a pill, kill her brain. Right? No, no, because I've seen and before. You're like no, no, no. I've seen bitch. before that if um one conjoined twin dies, then eventually, like soon, the other one will die too. I've seen that before. Yeah, because there's so, nothing you can I wanna, do. It's just so rare. You don't see this, so it's not like can I, we get no, the can we get the conjoined twins on here? But there's no right or wrong answers. That's what's making it so intriguing for us. Yes, it's multiple first choice. Of all, abs- yes, can the conjoined twins come here now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. It's yeah. no right or wrong answer. I'm just you. You don't think about these things. Well, we're not the only ones that have so many questions because if you go to TMZ, people are like so fucking. Did they have a reality too. show? They did. Okay, they did have a reality show, or maybe they were part of a reality show. But I know I've seen them on TV before. I know it. Like dead ass. They need one now, like as married, because I want to know that life. Yeah. That's a show that I would sit my fat ass down and watch. I just, I don't know. I couldn't imagine. And I, I told her before. Like, and the oh. husband wasn't a looker. Well. <gasps> Gypsy, it looked like Gypsy Rose's husband. Gypsy Rose announced her divorce, She should get back on Instagram. Holy fuck. How did we, how did we forget to talk I about that? I wonder why. Oh, I didn't put it in my notes. That's why. I thought the D was bomb, girl. Girl, the D was not so bomb. Hold on. We'll go back to the twins in a second. Gypsy Rose Blanchard announces separation from husband Ryan Scott Anderson. People have been asking, what is going on in my life? Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation and I moved in with my parents. Ma'am, so she moved into the cemetery? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm like, where the fuck did she move in? She said she moved in with her parents. That's right. It's the quote, bitch, from her verified Facebook, by the way. Why would you? Like, you could have left that detail out. Yeah, you could have just said you. Moved into your own apartment. You, moved, you didn't even need to moved tell out, us where you moved. Moved out. Moved out. Moved, moved out, out would have been suffice. Fucking literally moved in with my parents. Like, I'm Girl, like. now we're. Maybe she was really just trying to throw everybody for a loop. No, bitch. I want to know what cell carrier she uses to fucking get service from six feet under. Like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> anyway. I have the support of my family and friends to help guide me through this murder. I mean, through this. I am learning to... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am learning to listen to my heart right now. I need to let my let myself find dot, dot, dot who I am. Okay, once again, not the victim. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I just feel like you don't need to like put four paragraphs. Like, you you, you need... You didn't need to say anything. To be quite you honest. did like you literally... deleted social media. So yeah, why we would have had no Facebook? clue. And you know what's so crazy is so I wanted to see if this fa- Facebook was real, so I dead ass typed it in there and it is verified and it's her private. It's private, private though. So someone who is friends with her screenshot it. Yep. Uh huh. She, she knew. I'm sure because she. I think I want to say she had a couple hundred friends. Like it, but it was very. Yeah, I didn't know one of them were shicey. Where is she from? Minneapolis. Whoa, girl! They probably sold the fucking screenshot. Uh huh. TMZ. You know I mean? Four hundred dollars. You're like, like, yeah. Wait, you mean a tackle <laughs> box? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the conjoined twins, okay? Because there's just so many questions. I wonder so, why. I thought maybe the D's not bombing. Maybe she just realized she was just like, I was just locked up. Everyone party. fucking knew that wouldn't last. Is she? He kept her company while she was locked up. So, of course, she was like, oh, my Not God. Not her pulling a man on a one. Like, you know how men come out of jail and like, yeah. do that? Yeah. She pulled a him on her. Well, girl, because now she's, like, famous and shit. And now she's like, girl. And maybe there's, like, semi-hot dudes trying to hit her up. 
<laughs> well, girl, maybe she wanted her pussy murdered and he couldn't murder it. So she said, okay, I'll find another one at the movie theater. I don't know. She should find her ex. Oh, he's locked up. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hell and I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> don't touch our fucking bunnies. I thought it was Jesus for a minute and I just Literally, realized this, no. this is Easter. I We're celebrating was... the uh, bunny Easter, not the resurrection Easter. Oh, okay, no resurrection. Okay, sorry, Tupac. So, we... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The... <laughs> so, our final thoughts on that. Please let us know what you guys think about the conjoined twins is because, honestly. Oh, I'm like, what are y'all? Like, in the bottom line is like dead ass. There's no right or wrong. Like. What's right? What's wrong? Who's the same? I just think, like, diplomatically, you as conjoined sisters should have just been like, no, we're not doing that. We're like, not do doing that. Like, they have one social security number? No, they have two. Oh, do they? That's why I told you earlier, they said that legally they wouldn't know if they got so pregnant. they only need they one pap smear a year, though? There's only one vagina. Yeah. Yeah, that's a wild case. Dude, so they could only get chlamydia in the vagina, but only could one in the mouth. Could you imagine if... This the married one's married, but the hoe goes out and she brings chlamydia to the party. Could you imagine? Oh my god, dude! I I'm just so fascinated dude, I was by this. Stuck on this story. Hold on, and I'm stuck on this. Well, they're stuck together, so it makes sense. Okay, because I was feeling real stuck, so it does make sense. There's a movie called Stuck on You with Matt Damon. I think it's called, mm-hmm. where they're conjoined twins. Matt Damon and another guy. Have you ever saw it? It's called Stuck on You, Deadass. I've heard of it. Like I, I think I've watched it before. Let me see. It's, it's called Stuck on You. It's weird. Stuck on You movie. Yep. Mm-hmm. See the... Matt Damon. Yeah. Literally, they're stuck together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know what about. Super old. I forgot what was an ass now. Yeah, I don't. It's just. I think I'm just not. I'm not shaming, judging, or like. Cause How many no times are you gonna fucking wrong. say that? We know. I just am so baffled because it's such a rare thing. It's super rare. I feel like the only time I've ever seen conjoined twins is like, twins. In twins is like in fucking, a fucking foreign ass country. You know, like. No, there's popular TikTokers. There's two sisters also that are conjoined, and they've been on like podcasts and stuff. Where the fuck are all these people coming from? Um, split embryos. I think I don't know. No sign. Would you rather sign. have your sibling's head chopped off at birth, and you would survive, or leave it? I wouldn't know them at birth, so yeah, sure. The fuck. So you just want to have like a long shoulder, <laughs> rather than another fucking head. Another yeah, whole can you, another fucking brain. Can you operating Im- your body? Can you imagine if you hated the sibling that you were attached to? Like you fucking hated them. You're like yeah, like they're they're. Breathing heavy. Oh, chewing loud and shit. They like nasty ass food that you gotta smell all day. Oh my god. And they make your body fart. It's just so like, it's so, like, think of them taking a shit. You are never alone. I need to be alone. I would. That's why I'm so. I was gonna say that I would off myself, but then I'm like, if you off yourself, that's offing them. Oh, you're all I got you, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) I just, the thought of never being alone. Even though, like, our, our alone time is, like, you know, not often, but we are alone sometimes. I'm alone all the time. What are you talking about? Your alone time is not often. Like I'm if, alone even all the time. Even in my fucking car, just driving somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, I'm alone. I choose the song, bitch. I don't like it. I, I just couldn't do it. I don't like it. I don't like it, and I feel so sorry for the one that did I marry feel- this man. But also, too. also, can we question the guy for a second? Do you think that he has, like, a stuck-together twink? I mean, twink. A kink? Like, do you think that he's, like, low-key, like, he's into it? You know what I mean? And I wanted to say, like, I don't want to be... Thruples. I'm not trying to be nasty, but it's, like, okay, like, say, like... Because they have two heads, two mouths. What if He she's, puts it in both. She's pleasing her husband, but what if she wants to suck a dick? <laughs> I'm not being funny. She gets a fucking Oscar Mayer and sits to the side. Like would like I feel like the only way that would work is if you like it was like an agree like a threesome agreement, which or or maybe they put a blanket in between them while she's over there. And you hear like, <laughs> yeah, and then she just doesn't get any fucking dick anytime. She's all laying there trying to pretend that she's not getting pounded with a blanket between her. She's like, oh, her fucking shit's getting slammed. I was asking her this earlier. I don't know if I already asked this. Is I want to know, since they share a vagina, who orgasms, who feels it in the brain? Because as you guys know, they say when you orgasm, you release, like, dopamine and shit. So I'm like, yeah. who's, do they both feel it? Maybe only one feels it. No. 
so that means the only one's controlling the pussy? I guess. It could be, right? Or maybe the one that's visually interactive with it. Wouldn't you still feel it, though? I don't have to visually feel... I could be turned over here if you touch me. I feel it. No. You know what I mean? They both... It's like, that's where I'm... I'm just so confused. This is a fucking anomaly. Honestly, I'm, like, gonna research this just for my own fucking... How are you gonna me. research it? You're gonna get conjoined to your sister? No, like, they're like go online and read the studies that they've conducted. Let's talk to them. You guys, let's get Abby and Brittany on here. Brittany? Wait, we don't have enough room for two people. Mm, it's one person, two heads. We'll be fine. We'll just be like this. Here, Anyways, y'all. Oh, oh yeah, our last question. Oh yeah. Okay, our very last question to wrap up this fucking hot mess podcast. Jesus Christ. Ready? What is your biggest regret? Like, I didn't need that to ruin my night. <laughs> what a one to fucking end on. Let's hear it before I open mine. Let me crack open my other drink. Uh, on it, like I swear to God, every day, like. I don't think of anything like, I'm like, oh, I really Same. regret that. Even my piece of shit ex, I don't regret No, that. even my piece of shit exes. Oh, well, I don't, yeah. like, I'm just like. You got a roster, girl. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I truly don't have anything inside of me that I think like, fuck, I wish I knew that. Because I'm, I'm corny. I could tell one thing, though, because you're still embarrassed to tell the story and you always talk about. And I'm oh. Like, yes. It, I no, do regret no. dogs. I do regret it. You're right. Never mind. Regret it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and you know what's so funny? One day she's going to come around. It's As soon as you guys hear the story, you're going to be like, oh, we've all been there, all done that. Like, it's not, it's really not that bad. And if you guys know what we're talking about, it's when I had made a comment about her. This fucking bitch was like, how many times are you going to bring that up? And I was like, I was bringing it up to say that you're, like, not sensitive because this man was clowning her from the get-go. I was like, bitch, you're fucking... But it's not that bad. It's really not that bad No, but, story. like, in the bigger picture, not in my bullshit life, in my real life, <laughs> I don't I don't, have, I don't think I have regret. Like, I don't think of a regret and be like, oh, because I feel like all your shit leads you up to where you are. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm okay with where I am. Absolutely, I agree. Mostly. Yeah. I, I, I th Well, bitch, that's what I'm saying about, like, yeah. If I look back on my ex, I'm like, I I regret putting up with how much I put up with. I should have I should have stopped it. But sooner. I I think that the experiences have like helped us become. It molded us who we are. Mm -hmm. That yeah. So about that. Oh man, not me getting the long one. Goddamn. Yeah. Oh my god. Read it, you slut. You fucking bitch. You're getting mad at me for this. This shit. is how I know Rosa doesn't know. This is you. how I know Rosa doesn't watch the podcast. And the bitch has claimed to watch everyone. By the way, this is my fucking loud. friend. Ma'am, no. Okay, you want me to read it out loud? Yeah, go. You're never going to know this one. You've never heard it before. Would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or join in once to stop it? Ma'am. This bitch. Okay, my friend, I went over to her. I know her. I asked you that. I exactly. just know what the answer was. Girl. You wouldn't join. But you wouldn't watch either. Anyways, no. I think this, you're not alive yourself. This, <laughs> she didn't say it wasn't an option there. So, yeah. yeah. This bitch took fucking. I did ask this question. You did. That's why I said. That's why I'm like, this fucking bitch. She took so long. I was like, hey, girl, can you just like write down random questions for us? And. When I tell you she took almost one hour to write, and I told her 10 at first, she came out with eight. And I'm like, this bitch has claimed to, you're fake as fuck. And I know you're probably watching this on the <laughs> treadmill right now. Fake as fuck. I'm like, this was one of the ones. I was like, bitch. And I told her when she asked it, I was like, bitch, you saw that on the internet. And she's like, I did. I did. I'm like, girl, bye. Rosa, get some better questions. Joe Byron, no take regrets. me out to dinner. No regrets. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have made it this far, make sure you guys leave some bunnies and carrots. Bunnies and carrots, both bunnies of them. And bunnies carrots. and carrots. Bunnies and carrots. Bunnies, bunnies, and, carrots. bunnies and, carrots. and carrots. We will catch you guys in next week's episode. Bye. Bye, guys.